As someone who ran child fighting rings for years. I don't know what the f is going on. <laughs> no, 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 no. Break out. I'll fing choke the sh out of you. Uh, you got this? Ah. Uh, we got this. Ooh. How many podcasts have you been on? Ah. This Do we call you the King Trout? Or We're getting the shots ready. So then, do you need a chaser? Put some of this in here. Maybe. You want a, this to put that in? There? <laughs> Anyone? Excuse in? Jack, me. I also have extra coat and everything here. right here. I'm gonna belch a lot. <laughs> Jack, it feels like you're in character right now, <laughs> and you're wanting to break uh, out so hard. <laughs> I'm not. Are we starting? Just, we need uh, to start yeah. right now. Okay, we're starting. Uh. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna. I'm okay. I'm okay, fine. we're gonna it's, cheers we're and then crack. Everyone, get oh, ready. Oh, to our friend, King of the Trout. He's huge in the fishing the community. Fish guy, yeah. Responder bourbon. That's actually mm. good. That's, that's that was very it. smooth. That's Tito's. That's called vodka. Never had it before. I don't know if you're f with me or not. Mm, get ready for some of that. You see that headband? Say Why would he have vodka? Hi oh, to He's American. Eli. He's racially ambiguous and batty. That guy's fucking ridiculous. So we don't know. Best not to ask yourself why. But my friend, you've arrived. Welcome to unsubscribe. Kamish. Okay. Oh, and then we pop it. Ready? Three, two, one. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Unsubscribe Podcast. We, today, are joined with the fat electrician, Hi. Mr. King of Trout, the King Trout, King Trout? King Trout. And the beautiful Batty Streams. Batty, you look fantastic today. I need to pee already. <laughs> Go pee now. <laughs> Scoot the mic closer to you. I need Not to in front of your mic. Go pee. I need to pee. Okay. Jack uh, Mandeville. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, dude, this is last mm. minute. We just are introducing you're meeting everyone for the first time. I showed up 12 minutes ago, yeah, at a restaurant that was a bar that was closed. That's why we didn't go in there. Ah, we pulled up and we're like, hey, This will be good. You can oh, get food. They shut down, yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, I was just here last week, huh? Well, next place it is home, yeah, and I smoked seven cigarettes in the parking lot. <laughs> I know, yes. I didn't get to smoke one for like an hour, I was shaking. I'm so. <laughs> I've been planning on being on a podcast with Jack for a while now, and I'm, guys... I'm mad that we improv it today because I wasn't ready for it, because I always told myself that when I first get to be on a podcast with Jack, I was going to buy him a really, really nice decorative Bowie knife and present it to him and then go on a huge spiel about how much of an American hero. David Jim Bowie? Bowie? Jim Bowie was a piece of... Are you serious? <laughs> Why do you think... You look to, at this reaction. Are you triggering us? <laughs> you had this planned out perfect. Yeah, no, look, how, <laughs> look how triggered <laughs> he is. He's he's like, like, no, David Bowie's a piece of... David Bowie. Jim Bowie was a piece of garbage. He was a human American icon. No, yeah. it, even for the time he lived in, people freaking hated him. There's a, he. There's a reason why he was there. Is the last place he could go. He got ran out of every place he was at. He was a debtor. He owed people money. He was an absolute piece of caca. <laughs> Bro, I'm dead ass serious. That's like a great grandfather of mine. Yeah, you're descended from. <laughs> shit. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> they start beating the. Shit out of each other over here <laughs> you you knew what would trigger jack instantly yep. from the uh, oh that's why i really wanted the bowie knife here i was really he gonna do it stabbed you, what are you talking i know about? it would have been amazing <laughs> now time to ryan reynolds and myself it was and gonna jack be great would have went off <laughs> to the great skies above Jack's just holding his tongue. He's like, he's on edge uh, already. He's a great, what is this right now? There's a you, great. Oh, I walked in here and pushed the red button on Jack immediately. I, know. I, I was keeping that in my back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I was like all spiraling Jack's down like, around at the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love for this. Jack. I'm Jack. Guys, I know what you're thinking. Where is this going today? Alcohol. We have no idea which way this is going. It's this was fine. assembled today. This. Can I have. More vodka, please. Yes, of course. We assembled this star cut studded cast today. Put this in my energy. <laughs> Everything drink. was like, I was like, hey, let's do one today. We got to redo this. Our beautiful boy, Batty, he couldn't make it today. Love you, Batty. This, this, is, this is what my seventh grade science you, teacher called homeostasis. <laughs> so now Batty's going to be like watching this episode, be like, no, 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 no. 
<laughs> so, King Trout. Mm-hmm. How long have you been, dude? Okay, you, you have randomly enough. Brandon showed you uh, showed me your page three weeks ago. Brandon's mm-hmm. like, have you watched this guy's stuff? Mm-hmm. He's like, it's fucking hilarious. What are we doing? I just, oh, putting it right here. But uh, I didn't see your stuff before that. Then it popped up. I was like, wait, he kind of looks familiar. Then I started watching your stuff. I was like, all right, oh, thank this, you. this dude's actually, he, he's good. He, he, can, he can hang with the boys. Yeah, just been doing it for a couple of years. So what are you doing for, you, you're still, are we allowed to talk about like, you're just now breaking into social media. So you're like probably still working in nine to five. No, he oh, retired. Yeah. Look at that fucking watch. Yeah. Do My Armatron. Yeah. That's about, that's mm. twenty years in the factory right there. I, did, I didn't I didn't <laughs> bring hired didn't bring my, my grandpa because it had <laughs> yeah. fucking yeah. paint on it. You I work I, at Honeywell for forty years or what? <laughs> <I did>, no. <laughs> yeah, for those of you watching, the, 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 the yeah. fucking the AC they got, guy left ten minutes yeah. ago. It's it's nice. That and warm goddamn three M earplug lawsuit cost him his job. <laughs> <laughs> He's like no. <laughs> So we have, uh, so you, nine to five still. Are you yes. allowed to go into your nine to five? Yeah, I can talk about that. What is it? I'm I am a, a private general contractor. No shit. Private yeah. general reporting for duty, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's like half parade rest, yeah. half salute at the same yeah. time. <laughs> no, were you military? All of us were. X, I'm an ex-Marine. <laughs> I don't want to hear any of you ex-Marines complaining. There's a reason I call myself an ex-Marine. When you're old and bald and fat and you call yourself a Marine, you look way more than pathetic doing that than just calling yourself an ex-Marine and acknowledging what you are, a fat old ex-Marine. <laughs> Jack, you couldn't see your stomach. Uh. Stand up a little, and then you can do You said it. I couldn't take my shirt off. No, you can show your tummy. <laughs> just don't. Well, Jack, you were, see, there's a big statement. If a girl's like, oh, you said I couldn't. Uh, okay. If she was like this. Hold on. And then I was like, no, you can show your stomach. She's like, you said I couldn't take While my shirt off. on the like, topic mm, of the Marines. Big difference. Huh? I, had, I had big news for Jack that I've been waiting all day to share. Let's hear it. Uh, <gasps> so we talked about Sergeant Reckless a little tiny bit because yep. that was my last video. Wait, hold on. We uh, Audience, give a, do you know Sergeant Reckless? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Okay. You're more American than me. Thank you, Private <laughs> Commander, sir. <laughs> Quick synopsis. Of uh, course. Uh, during, during the Korean War, the Marines bought a, a horse from a racetrack in Seoul, South Korea, from a young Korean man by the name of Kim Hook Moon because he needed $250 to buy his sister a prosthetic leg. I believe her name was Eileen. Or was it Peggy? It doesn't fucking matter. It, they bought this horse, they <laughs> trained it, and then they taught it how to... <laughs> Okay. They taught it how to carry ammunition up the hill, right? It carried a bunch of ammunition. It ended up winning out, helping to win outpost, the Battle of Outpost Vegas and uh, basically preserved South Korea as we know it today. And then they brought it back home. And when they brought it back home, one of the things they did for like a PR stunt, because Sergeant Reckless was famous, uh, when she got pregnant, they put a big-ass billboard outside of Camp Pendleton that said, it's a uh, dot, 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 dot. And everybody was super pumped because Reckless was going to have a baby. And then once they found out she gave birth, it was a boy. They named named it Fearless, and uh, they wrote. They went out. They wrote, "It's a boy in blue" on this big ass sign. And the Marines were all pumped, and they threw a party. And the Marine Corps unwittingly created gender reveals and gender reveal parties. Because it's, like, it's very progressive service. It's a very so, progressive service. Well, no, but so listen, I did that. Right, I said that in my video. And the next day, the author of the last Sergeant Reckless book and like the the person that runs the foundation got a hold of me and she's like, it's kind of becoming a thing because apparently it was like well decided fact that gender reveals were invented in 2008 by some lady is like in Wikipedia and all the news articles and everything. And now we're trying to rewrite Wikipedia and say that the Marine Corps created <laughs> That's gender so reveals because it's true. But it's you're gonna saying be great. so Sergeant Re- Sergeant Reckless was a major reason why South Korea exists today. 100%. So they're the reason why you, I can't make a goddamn Groot text and I got to worry about the fucking green bubble guy. Knock it off. Are you a green Don't, don't Are you a green bubble guy? I just switched to an iPhone. Okay. It's not that. You're much part better. of the you're part of the fam guy. now. You're a green bubble it's guy? Not that much no, better. I'm a blue bubble guy. Blue bubble? You're blue bubble. Blue bubble. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then why can't let's talk smack about green bubble people. No. And Korea. And Sergeant Reckless. There's Didn't no you think the, defend him. the horse was confused at first? It's like, I do not speak English. And just like walking up that hill. Uh, so like they, that is not how. That's all how a horse speaks? Not Korean that's not horses. Korean sound, that's yeah. a Japanese horse. Let me think, wait, Korean. That, 
Ah, wait, hold on. I can actually do. I fucking hate. I know how the cadences of I don't every wanna, Asian culture. I, yeah, I don't want to say, do. but you you're, should you're know Asian, Korean. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, a weight lifted off your shoulder. The fear in your eyes. You were like, you are Asian, right? I was like, oh, I didn't know we were doing voices. <laughs> What kind of fucking podcast is this? That, hey, and not to detract from what you're gonna say. You're doing voices. Not to detract from what you're gonna say, but Wait, I can do one. It's called it's called safe racism. <laughs> As long as you're making like I'm, I'm, I'm wholesale white, so I can make fun of all the whites from Spain to to the Slavs. I can do the northern whites. I can do the southern whites. Technically, Middle Easterns are considered whites, so I can make fun of Middle Easterns too. I can't go beyond that because I have to be a safe racist. You're pretty lucky, Mex Latino. You technically fall into the Latino and white and Asian category. Yeah. You have a lot of racism opportunities, Eli. I know. Trust me. I have many cards. Yeah. Many, many cards. You want an autism joke? Here's my autism card, too. My son's autistic. Nice. He's amazing. Is and how many nice? of your military friends? It's nice my son's autistic? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Thank I, you. I probably King am. And how many? <laughs> and how many? I've seen my kimono. Uh, <laughs> and how I many? Your, take, I took a test online. <laughs> it said that I was. Jack. And, well, I'm saying, how many of your military friends, uh, Ryan Reynolds himself, right? You can make Ryan Reynolds joke all the live long all day. day. Yeah. yeah. Well, when you're trying to get into Hollywood, that's what you do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Public service announcement. Attention, all my bearded beasts from Stubble to Maine. If you didn't already know, Manscaped now sells beard products. You heard that correctly. The leaders in below the waist grooming changed the game. With their beard hedgered pro kit. And now they're going a step further with a brand new handyman. G Van, punch in, punch boom, in, boom, punch boom. in. An electric face shaver for a quick and convenient way to achieve a clean shaven look. Whether you're looking to sharpen up your neckline or give your face that smooth finish, the handyman has you covered. Go to manscaped.com and use code UNSUB for 20% off and free shipping. It's time to go from 5 o'clock shady to yeah, baby. No one likes a weird beard, so say goodbye to your stubble trouble with the Manscaped Beard Hedger. I have a weird beard because my genetics. Looking for something, dare I say, smoother? Look no further than Manscaped's new handyman's face shaver. If you're like us, you know clean shaven is a hassle. Ew. That's why you use this. The handyman by Manscaped. So get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com if you use code unsub. So get 20% off and free shipping with code unsub at manscaped.com. I oh, don't do it. Okay, back to the horse. I'm so, I can't think Sorry. about the Korean accent anymore. Awesome. I know when I hear it, I'm like, fuck. Mm, oh okay, I'm going to pass on this one. I can do every other Asian accent. The <laughs> fuck Korean to English speaking is so different. They do Taekwondo. That's what I know. I'll do a great one for you <laughs> off camera. <laughs> no, do it. Okay, I give you permission. It's my, least no. favorite, <laughs> my least favorite martial art. <laughs> Taekwondo. Bro. Wait, you? <laughs> oh yeah, go sorry. ahead. Sorry. No, go on your Taekwondo uh, rant. Nothing. I just I used to, I did Taekwondo when I was little. I've been doing jujitsu for fifteen years. over a decade, and I'm like not a black belt at it yet. And it's just every you do Palgate every middle aged woman like oh you do you do martial arts like yep. Karate. What what belt are you? Purple. Is that higher than black? Yep. No. Oh, my check. nephew, little Timmy's 11. He just got his black belt. Cool. I can beat the fuck out of that yeah. kid. Dude, I can kick <laughs> he doesn't care. So he hasn't hit puberty. His balls are still there. I can yeah. fucking drop him in a second. <laughs> they just, they just opened jet, a karate dude. joint uh, behind uh, JT's place. And I've been trying to talk Caleb into going down there and enrolling and just us beating the shit out of kids all day long. Bro. <laughs> oh, you're a freaking 11 year old with a black belt? Great. Dude, I would love to kick the shit out of some little yeah. kids. We'll film it. We'll call it getting canceled. <laughs> Just prove a point. It's not holding back. <laughs> I make a joke about <laughs> our editor on this one. Gman is gonna be like. <laughs> Can this one just go straight to Patreon? Right? <laughs> hey, where's your editor? Where, where's he located out of? Gman, where are you located at? You don't even know where your editor, editor lives. Tel Aviv, somewhere north, right? Gman, you live in Iowa. That's I me, think. dumbass. No, I think he's also in Iowa. No, he doesn't. What city? There's three of if them. If I'm you would struggling know. with the state, 
Uh, I'm assuming the four letter <laughs> state. The struggle the more four with the four letter state. I don't know. He's in with the one Slipknot's from. <laughs> That's Iowa. Yeah, where? Slipknot's from Waterloo. From, why yeah. do you know that? Because why I'm from fucking know? Iowa. Las Vegas. Iowa's like literally the, like we created Slipknot and GMO corn. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Like. <laughs> We prevented world hunger and then gave you Slipknot. You guys also gave us Herbert it. Hoover, who started world hunger. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's fair. I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, <laughs> old Hoovy. Good old like, Herbert this, Hoover. This train needs to go this way. And Grant Eli. Wood? <laughs> and Grant Wood. I didn't know that, actually. Oh, yeah. Aside from the American Gothic, he also did a beautiful a Iowa episode. landscapes. He made Iowa look pretty as oh, shit. Oh, goddamn. Do you know who... Uh, uh, da, 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 what's his fucking name? Uh, the, the, the Music Man, the movie? Like the famous fucking Music Man movie. Glenn right? Miller. Yeah. Glenn Miller's from so, Iowa. Yeah, well, he's from fucking Mason City, right? The yeah. Music Man movie from back in the day is about Mason City, Iowa, the town I'm from. Yeah. And fucking nobody in the city government is letting this shit down, okay? Yeah. The, a movie was loosely based off of this shithole town in Iowa 60 years ago. We're naming fucking buildings after it. Oh, yeah. There's no fucking river in Mason City, Iowa. Every business is called River City whatever because yeah. we're there was a movie loosely based around us once. It got like 30,000 views. I get more views <laughs> on a fucking views. TikTok than that movie did <laughs> in 70 movie. years, and it's made every high school graduate from Iowa watch it 17 times, K through 12. I'm, oh, What's I'm, this I'm movie mad. called? The Music Man. Who's some, the, wait, some about, the actor? It's about Glenn Miller, I'm assuming. But who's the main actor? Oh, I don't Dick? know. I've was, never heard of it. That's an Iowa thing. Yeah. Was it like Dick Van Dyke? He's from fucking Minnesota. They just look down We have us. tall buildings Literally where I come and from. figuratively. Corn and tall buildings. Yeah, they just have the corn. Up. And you're from Indiana? I'm from Indiana. Yeah, Ooh, where? Get... The northern half. Oh. I'm going to assume Second he means... He's from Gary! Hold up! Diana. No, he's not from Gary. He's white. Gary. I'm going to assume... Very. <laughs> yeah, I know. You have that song, and then now it's just cool. I'm pretty sure that's, that's from the, the whole Music time, Man. The whole time you were talking about Music Man, I was like... I yeah, no, saw that's that where that line. song's from. Is Gary, it for real? Yeah. It's about Indiana, I think. Yeah, Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. I don't think Gary, so. Indiana. I don't know. I they literally say in Gary, Indiana. It's a Gary, song, dickhead. Why would they sing a song... In another state, in another city, I don't know. about a. S- you ever listen to Straight Outta Compton or any other fucking song from they any were other all state from ever? Yeah, they were all from Compton. <laughs> you see that? <sighs> God damn it! <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> I heard, I heard the metric system is a touchy subject for can, you. Can what I, do you uh, want to know say, about Can it? I do my, Dude, my... I'm so fucking uh, sick. Go ahead. Can I just do my a quick uh, white guy edit of uh, Straight Outta Compton? I would love yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Straight out of Compton. Crazy mother father named Ice Cube from a gang called Fellas with Attitude. And that's, that's what I do that. <laughs> And Jack. <laughs> While he's wearing a shirt that says Tecano Revival. Tejano. 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 Revival. I thought your wife was Mexican. Hijo de su pinche puta madre. Yeah, she's Guatemalan. <laughs> Same thing. I also Not do, really. I do Tucker Carlson. Don't tell me. Wu Tang lyrics. <laughs> what? I said I do uh, Tucker Carlson impressions of Wu Tang lyrics. No, oh. wait. Let's see. Anyways, about the metric system. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the metric system. Yeah. What about it? What do you want to know? It fucking sucks. I agree. I'm just the first person who agrees with you to talk. To That's you about fucking it. true. The internet hates me about it. Yeah. It's, it's a weird fu- subject. You're like, no. Wait. You you are pro metric system. I He's hate it. Pro imperial. Oh, oh really? Pro imperial. Okay. Okay. Imperial. I thought it was called standard. System. The other. The I standard. like calling it imperial. imperial. Oh, okay. Imperial standard. Same thing. Do, do you? Yeah. But like you understand the metric system, right? No, I get it. <laughs> yeah. I just think. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, know, you, I just think sure? it's dumb. You sure yeah. you get it? Doesn't it doesn't make sense. Even though like ninety eight percent of the world is using it. It doesn't it. make I, sense I think, for I human think, beings. I think ninety eight percent of people are fucking idiots. So that I makes agree sense. With that. You have narcissistic personality disorder, That's huh? That's for sure. Yeah. Okay, all right. No, hear me out. Hear me out. Here, what if we based a measuring system off of people? Like, yeah. what, if, what if we had Fahrenheit? That would make and sense. And zero we was have fucking what, cold. Kelvin, we have Fahrenheit. And 100 and the- was fucking hot. Oh, wow. But that would instead, make sense. The world is like, instead, instead of just relating it to how people feel, what if we brought in a third characteristic, water, and then zero is where water's freezing, and then a hundred is where water's boiling, which makes sense until you realize that water as a variable changes with a bunch of other fucking aspects. Water boils at a different point at altitude than it does at sea level. Uh It all changes. Now everything's on a fucking spectrum that makes zero sense. Like my son. Because we're rating everything in relation to water. (laughs) 
I've, I'm immune to it. I'm just going to go right past it. And then everybody in the comment uh, section every fucking time, because I'm like, fucking, there's no metric on the moon. And they're like, oh, this fucking idiot doesn't know that they don't use, they use the metric system in the moon landings. Buh. But that's a fucking lie. Because guess what? NASA didn't adopt the metric system until 1992. And guess how many people have been to the fucking moon since? Zero. I love your level of Rain Man right there. <laughs> <laughs> But why? Okay, you gave a great definition from like it was too scientific. Fahrenheit. Yeah, Fahrenheit to Celsius. <sighs> yeah, but meters, kilometers, millimeters. It's stupid. What about it's them? fucking? It's stupid. All right, in it's normal distances when you're measuring things as a fucking human. How day. many inches are in a foot? Twelve. How many feet are in a a yard? Three. Okay, now watch. How many? World millimeters do you fucking are have? in a hundred millimeters. I can't divide by ten. I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to divide. You just, I don't you understand. You take away milli. <laughs> How tall are you in the metric system? In the metric system? Yeah. Duh. Duh. That's a bad example. because that's No, because like, he's either going no, no, to be a hundred and something, something. I can tell you a hundred kilometers an hour is the standard for sixty mile, 62.5 miles an hour. I'll give credit when credit's due. And if you're at the bar and you start giving out measurements and you're telling people how long the genitals are, you do it in the metric system. That's true. <laughs> uh, four millimeters. No, yeah. 40. <laughs> You get to Four add a millimeters. zero. Yeah. You read discuss this. You get to add a zero on every Four number. Four millimeters. Okay, we don't add a zero for some of us. It's tiny. Get, <laughs> get the micrometer. We're going to find out exact <laughs> measurements. But I mean, like, for real, Anyways, though, think uh, about it. So, like, when you're measuring, like, huge distances, yeah, doing tens does make sense. But also, measuring huge distances isn't something that you're going to do, like, as an individual all the time. So that's why... NASA guys says, do. <laughs> but Go human on. height! Like, normal people. Like, I get your point, but, like, the part that bothers me is the metric systems. Oh, it's base 10. It's really fucking easy to just move the decimal. That's great, but it's also easier when you do a standard, which is base 12, because the advantage to base 12 is that you can split it up into fractions because 12 can be divided in half. That's six. It can also be divided into thirds, which is four, and it can be divided into fourths, which is three. You are so, gaslighting me with math right yeah, now. Why, why you are making I fighting me you? hate the, the imperial same, system. I have the same argument as you, but I, I, I'm, I'm disagreeing with you right now. Yeah, see? see? You just lost see? your teammate because uh, you started bringing in fractions. You're like, you and me make this easier? Fractions. You're like, no, I don't like this no more. Human <laughs> this height, is not my favorite anymore. I'm 170 centimeters tall or I'm 1.72 meters tall. There's no in between. Feet make sense. I'm six foot two. Bing boom. See, I like it. No, you're fucking that's, 74 you know, inches. No, that's because you grew up in that system. That's and fine, just because <laughs> That's a reasonable number. Just, just because you grew no, up. temperature. You go outside. <laughs> oh, it's hot as fuck. It's fucking 28. Oh, it's cold as shit. It's 27. That's the thing that bothers me the most is like, oh, change the thermostat. 27 to 28 Celsius is like fucking. There you go. That's the difference between it's chilly in here and I've got ball sweat. Yes. I, I need to know if metric thermostats go by decimals. They have to. There's no no reasonable person is just changing it by a whole degree Celsius, Wait, right? Wait, do we go with Kelvin? What's in space? How right? space measured? Uh, Kelvin? Well, Kelvin, Kelvin. Kelvin is. There's okay, Kelvin. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Is, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit and the third? Fahrenheit space is how miles per an hour. Fahrenheit <laughs> is how humans feel. Celsius is how water feels. Googling and it. Kelvin is how atoms feel. That's the rule. Adam felt real good at me last night. Hey, <laughs> Eve up top. No, his name's uh, Adam Adam Johnson. He's a really nice guy. I think I'm falling for him. Nice. K versus C. Have Wait, there's a C? What's the C? Celsius, Celsius you Kelvin. fucking potato. What's the other one? Kelvin. No, Fahrenheit. there's three. Fahrenheit, Kelvin, and Celsius. Okay, we got Jesus. it. The thing we've Bro, been saying for the last five minutes. I finish high school. Thank you. You didn't finish high school? No, I have a GED. Nice. I finished good enough. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Homies. I joined the infantry. Do you think I was oh, like, God damn. I'm going to be an Homies astronaut. rocking the ged. <laughs> yeah. Good enough diploma. You know who else joined the infantry? <laughs> and he became one of the biggest leaders of all time. Changed the world. Hitler. <laughs> Jesus. <Christ. laughs> I didn't know we could do that. Be Jack's I didn't just know. inserts Dude. of bad history. You know who else did that? This person. <laughs> Jack Mandeville. <laughs> Never changed. 
Napoleon was also an infantryman. Brilliant. <laughs> was he a terrible <laughs> painter Infantry is well? the scariest MOS in the military. It it is the worst. There's MOS. two there's two types of people. There's a in spectrum the of genius to yeah. moron. There's like there's like this is all I qualified for, and I qualified to do a lot more, but I want to be here. It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, you I start never talking, you're like, oh shit, you're you're actually really smart, and you just want to be here. Oh fuck, this is it. And That's you're not really being, scary. You're not being <laughs> a lector. Yeah. Hey, Batty. Who wants better sex and to start having better sex right now? That's the best way to get started. Are you Canadian? I am for this ad read. Well, do you know the best way to have better sex? <laughs> That's right. The best way to get started is go to adamandeve.com right now. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off from any item, plus free shipping, which includes rush processing. Like these. <laughs> also, it doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy. Everything will be packaged discreetly, and you'll get that order fast. Don't wait. Better sex is just a click away. That's right, Batty. One click away. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or something you desire. Go to adamandeve.com and use code UNSUB to save 50% off and get rush processing. You're not forced into this. You don't have, there's no, yeah. it's not a judge in threat. Vietnam you. right now, yeah. it's. You get a choice. That's a good yeah. question. Did you choose? They're gonna give you a hundred percent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I knew what you, I knew what you I wanted like, to well, do. This is what Elon. He's used. not yeah. smart at a lot, but what he's smart at, he's really smart at. <laughs> I ha I listened to him go full spectrum talking about cameras for twenty minutes today with another photographer. You want to feel out of your element? It was terrifying. I don't Even know. the photographer's like. Bro, I, the dude <laughs> was wearing, I swear shit? to God, he was, this he dude was wearing a production a, his, his own shirt with a fucking camera right here and his name right here. He owns a fucking production company and he worked in Hollywood. <laughs> Five minutes into the conversation, he's like, are you just listing numbers and shit? I cannot tell you how many people that worked in Hollywood. That, like, no, they're, 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 people who have worked in Hollywood, a lot of times it's like, I had two jobs over a 15-year span. This guy's been working every day for freaking over a decade now and learning that craft. I'm like, I love cameras. This is what I do. My son got this LA, all <laughs> LA is the worst example of people. It's all posturing. It's all wording things the right way. Like, yeah, I'm a, uh, I've been, a, you know, I've been a working actor. No, you've had three gigs in the last freaking 10 years. You've been out there. No, you, we, what we say is, Oh, where do you serve at? That's not what you fucking said. I was yeah. there for that conversation. Oh, not Eli that opens up with, I dabble and then proceeded to fucking talk this yeah. poor dude under the goddamn table. Yeah. <laughs> it was terrifying. I love camera gear. We talked about it there too. Brandon's, because I even talked to Brandon Herrera. Yo, yo, shout out for a boy, AK guy. He hates that name. Uh, he was like, I'll talk to him. I'll like, man, you see this is new he camera I got? This is what I got? And I'll show him and I tell him all the specs. He's like, Eli, you need to just do a camera channel. Yeah, why don't you? <laughs> why don't you do, do you read know? the specs for cameras? <laughs> as, as just numbers. So as I know them in my head from like, eh. I do it for fun. Color grading, do it for fun. Editing, directors, everything. I do that for fun, and that's when I realize I'm weird when I'm around normal people. You know, like, you drop a it? box of matches on the ground. You know, you're you should be call able to your, count uh, how many. <laughs> exactly. Mm. You know, you should call your <laughs> channel since you're Mr. Infantryman. Lights, camera, violence of action. Lights, I hate camera. that's actually a really good one, too. Oh. That'd be the most you Lights, understand? camera, violence for action. Welcome back, guys. This is Eli Quavis, and today we're talking about the Canon C70 and its 16.2 stops of dynamic range. Guys, when you want C Log 2 and what it can do in post-production, this is what you're looking for in a camera. You team this up with the RC3 DJI. Pro Series, you are looking at cinema grade quality every single moment once you hit that record button. Not only do you get four audio so channels happy. that are individually, what's the word? Uh, you can change them. Selector switch from safe to mm. semi. We'll go with that. Rifle and then I go into range. that. And I hate oh. that I can do that. I fucking despise no, my it. tism as, like, is cameras. As, as, I despise gear is my tism. As somebody that had a, like a normal job and then one day I was like, fuck, I have to buy a fancy camera. I know nothing about it. And the, you did the, hit me up. the <laughs> level of like, you go on YouTube and you're like, I'm just some asshole made a video for free and he's going to teach me. And like, indeed, that did happen. It's just every other asshole on YouTube making camera content is like, how do I? 
terrible. They have a very punchable face. Oh, yeah. It's just like, I would not want to have a beer with this motherfucker. Like They're condescending. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'd be like this. Yeah. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the C70. If you can hit like and subscribe, leave a comment below. <laughs> We've been doing this for 13 years now. Uh, trying. If this video hits 1,000 likes, I'm going to give eight <laughs> shout outs. That's right. We're and a giveaway. <laughs> Four minutes later. Okay, let's get into that gear. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Face reveal at 20 <laughs> subs. I'm j I just want to know how to turn fucking autofocus on on my new Sony A7 IV. I don't need a 20 minute video. Dude, Which, dude, <laughs> shout, shouts out to the Indian kids who record the fucking videos about how to fix Whoa. your technical issues. Dude, and they dude, got like 20 views. The, like the most no, no, obscure <laughs> fucking problems yeah. on the planet. <laughs> In depth guide. <laughs> Step by step. <laughs> what happens when camera is set to this, but facing north, and this happens? <laughs> Indian guy, you hit it, and a short pops up. It's like, and it's a short. Fucking subscribe, bro. Oh, and it's unregistered like, hypercam no too, talking. dude. A lot of the time, it's like a background. The, the mouse goes up to click a program, and it shows you everything. You're like, dope. Hey, it worked. <laughs> and we're golden, and we're off. Dude, it, uh, again, not... Have you seen the movie White Tiger on Netflix? Oh, no. no. I thought you were going to say Triple R. No, no. White Tiger. On Highly recommend. Brilliant Another movie. Beer? Please. India. People you. really yes. underestimate how India is is Bollywood becoming is a, like, is going to be a top tier society here in the next 10 years. Oh, for sure. Society. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I get I get super mad because, like, um, nobody talks about India in World War II. They lost more than anybody! I don't know. Maybe not as much as China. They fought in every Dude, fucking no one theater, gives though. India the cred for what they did in oh, World War II. They're incredible. Because the Brits, the Brits who basically used the Indians yeah. were like, we won the war, mate. What? I'm going to put ice in. Thank you, Daddy. Eli, can you believe we've had seven months without an NFL game? That's crazy, Canadian baddie. What? Well, good thing that's over. NFL is here in DraftKings Sportsbook. The official sports betting partner to the NFL is giving you a can't-miss offer for one week. This week, a new customer can get $200 in bonus bets instantly when you just bet $5 on any NFL game. DraftKings is hooking everyone up with game day greatness. All customers can take advantage of two new offers every single game day this September. Check the app to see what you get. Canadian Batty, you are the best. That's code unsub only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. The crown is yours. That's right. The crown is yours. Download now and use code unsub to sign up. And new customers can take home $200 in bonus bets Instantly, just for betting five dollars. That's two hundred dollars for five dollars. Gambler, call one eight hundred gambler. Or visit www.one eight hundred gambler.net. New York, call eight seven seven eight hot penny. Or text hot penny four six seven three six nine. Connecticut, help is available. For gambling, call eight eight seven nine seven seven seven. Or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino Resort, Vegas. Twenty one plus age varies in jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Ccdkng.com slash football for eligibility terms and responsibility. Gaming resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after insurance insurance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Yeah, the freaking the the Indians did all of that. They did 99% of the grunt work for portions. the British. Yeah. Yeah. It was insane. Fought in every theater. Nobody fucking talks about it. They yeah. don't bitch about it in the comment sections anywhere. They're just like, no, we did it. Whatever. That, and that's the crazy thing is like people get super nationalistic when it comes to World War II. It really, you really see people taking a lot of pride for shit they never did, right? Right. First you never off, see Indians chiming in about that. Like if anybody has a right to take a lot of pride, like, yeah, we lost like the second to the most people in the whole thing. Like militarily, not civilian wise. First off, it's Native American. <laughs> 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 what was that? <laughs> like I got two what? stone faces, and then and <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you got you fucking got me with that one. <laughs> Can I have another beer? Were, they, were they actually second? Because I didn't know that. The Soviet Union's the first. I, like I know fish. that because all the King fucking Soviet Union at, sympathizers uh, never shut the fuck up about it. Yeah, the, oh, so many uh, of us, died. so many of us died. Come World on. War II. We should bro, I get some sick of that. Oh, hey, can I read my exchange with Gary after this? <laughs> oh, oh my god, military, Bay. yeah, casualties. Because okay, Russia lo country. lost twenty to forty million the during Soviet World War II. Yeah, it's like like something <laughs> like two percent of their population swing. or something like that. They yeah, there's a lot. That's of the most. Oh, I'm so fucking sick of hearing people talk about the Soviet Union. 
No, well, like, like, maybe yeah, maybe, no, now they maybe 20 over. million there, yeah, maybe bro, 40 million. Every, oh, no. every fucking person in my co- Oh, you know, actually, the Soviet Union is why the Allies won World War II, because the most of them oh. died. It's like you had the shittiest KD and you're claiming credit for the W. You got you fucking also carried. You sided with the fucking force you're fighting with. They made agreements. Then Hitler stabbed Stalin in the back. They, I'm sorry. They and were, that happened. You can't be like, well, they won for us. It's like, no, no. They fucked up. They joined that side. Then that side backstabbed. And then they fought with a lot of people dying. Go ahead, Jack. Italian method. <laughs> Uh, my we joined Lin- they were losing side. Not more. <laughs> it's a me. <laughs> That's how they, they all said it. They, they were, uh, they were four. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm So Soviet Union and China, which I uh, mentioned earlier. I didn't know this. So I was third place? Third place? Always third place. The Polish. The Poles. In, the Poles? Yeah. Long deaths? They, they had the third most amount what? of casualties. That's yeah. not third place. That's third from last place. Touche, my friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Marine uh, Marine Corps just had their first uh, Sikh Marine graduation. I saw that. Basic yeah, when uh, full. Yeah, he had uh, he was yeah, wearing the, the head, uh, turban. Yeah. yeah, it looked badass. It was yeah, awesome. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, a lot of it's, people were butthurt. Uh, no, well, I read the comment section. It, it's Standard. the same people. It's, a shit show. You, it's the people you expect to be butthurt. Yeah, being exactly, butthurt. Don't sure. worry, they'll be dead within thirty years. <laughs> like no, but he it looked great. And by the way, like if you know anything about the history of Sikhs. Yeah, why, they're, they're fucking if, hardcore. If, if why you, would you not oh, want them in your military yeah. force? If you have, Warrior if you culture. have self-inflicted rules preventing Sikhs from being in your military, you should change your fucking rules. You, and that's what we're <laughs> finally doing in ours. Yeah, they've done some crazy ass. It's shit. the only. I think it's the only religion that requires you to carry a weapon yeah. at all times. Yeah. And by the way, the United States. Uh, Honors that. Yeah. Yeah. They and like, I think yeah. even oh, in, yeah. I think for international flights in like a significant amount of countries, they're even allowed to carry like a small dagger with them as long as it re- meets like certain like length requirements and everything. Like yeah. it can't be too big of a weapon, but like they still honor their religion enough to let them bring a knife on the plane. Bro, I'm about to convert. Dude, they're hard as fuck. Yeah. Sikhism is a. Uh... <laughs> Me too. It, it, it's crazy to this day. And uh, again, they we've, got, it we've sucks come a long that they, way. Yeah, but it sucks how they automatically I got identified. They were like, oh, they're um, during that entire like 9 11. Oh, forward. It, it was, it really like, showed how, even fucking, what the fuck? It's like, no, they're not even close. They're not even not from a, close to Arabia. Period. It's not even close to the same religion as Islam. Like, literally, it is two opposite things. And then you had that, which was crazy to watch because no one did the research on it. They're like, hold up. Like, Christianity is closer to Islam than anything she has. <laughs> like, that's, yeah. that's actually true. <laughs> yeah, that's which 100% is 100% legit. <laughs> which is yeah. fucking people, mind blowing. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah we know Jesus. Out. We love Jesus. Yeah. She's so like, who the fuck is Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> like, so you have this I guy. worship the murder god. <laughs> <laughs> Got fucking nine arms. Purple <laughs> skin, dude. This is not our thing. What the fuck's going on? It's crazy. My God cuts throats. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I get this dagger everywhere. As long as it's under four inches on a plane. <laughs> Stand <Yeah. up. laughs> And the blade has to flip out. It yeah. can't automatically extend and that's a curve. out. Dude, Indiana just legalized throwing stars this year. Why were they illegal in the first place? Indiana Indiana has some of the... We- I used to live in Crawfordsville, Indiana. Nice. I have no idea where that is. The <laughs> only up to in the United States, up to all male colleges, Wabash College is in Crawfordsville, Indiana, 30 minutes south of Lafayette. We call it Sausageville. Bro. Yes. Can you imagine the smell of an all male college? It is weird that that's what I grew up I imagine around. it smells like basic training. Basic training smelled so bad we'd take dryer sheets and stick them on the back of a fan. Wait, where did this you is an air freshener? Where did you go to basic? Sill. Oh, you lucky. It's terrible. I will. I will take sill over binning. How many times did you wake up with a fucking scorpion on you? Oh no! How many times did you did you get woken up by drill sergeant in the middle of the night? All of them. What the fuck Wait, are you did you? About? Yeah, we had drill sergeants there, asshole. Did you have scorpions? No. Yeah, fuck you. We had fire ants <laughs> and shit bags. Yeah, we had fire ants too and whispering? shit bags. What are they whispering over there? We're just admiring this big <laughs> yeah. digging contest. Why don't you guys just whip it out? Oh, I'd love to. No, it's, How many times did you wake up contest. and come on your back? <laughs> Did you five times? <laughs> you? How Seven? many crayons did you eat? <laughs> okay, this <laughs> determines. That's crayons is over there. That's, that's over there. I don't know shit, dude. This determines. 
Who's the best military veteran? Jeez, which one terrible. of you? Which one of you is the terrible. closest to Ryan Reynolds heart, and yourself? <laughs> That's for sure him. I'm terrible at the military. I'm you fucking all know thrilled this. to be here. We actually talked about this today. Oh, we were just God. talking about the it. veteran space. On you know, uh, I was in the army too. Kiss <laughs> army, never miss a show. <laughs> God. I was like, Jack, uh, if you get us flagged for copyright, I'm going to fucking see you Are we you doing bill. taxes? <laughs> Just sitting back. I'm like, Jack, this is how much they charge us Bro, today. that was probably enough to get you copyright stricken. I know. Dude. G-Van. Unfortunately, that, Jack, that's actually the truth. I can't no, say dead ass. Yes. Yeah, dead bro, ass serious. Uh, that's literally what you have to watch out for. Jack was like, what if I say this? I'm like, not today. We have to do this. And now he's seeing. A hundred percent. That's enough to get you copyright stricken. Saying those words in the right, you want to know how bad fucking <laughs> copywriting the internet I've been trying, today. I've been trying <laughs> so like, hard. What the fuck, bro? To keep the it within three, the lines, Jack. You can say one line of a song, and we discussed this today. Uh, what song was it on um, The Office? Told you, I because this is a metrics. Um, uh, Paradise City. Uh, two tickets to Paradise. Yes, that cost seventy thousand dollars for Jeez, that. For the just office. saying, Christ. Just saying. You guys had to pay that. No, much. that's the, what the Office, office had the TV to. show had one character sing the lyrics to the. He said two tickets to Paradise. He sang two tickets to Paradise. Yeah. He sang two lines of it. It cost him seventy thousand dollars for the rights to do that. That's how fucked up the music industry has you a stranglehold on that. media. Jack, yeah, this is. I mean, uh, I, you're uh, learning. Hey, hey, can I do a different? Let me do no, a different. No, 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 Jack. Let me. Then Jack. Oh my God. No, 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 no. no. You, you invited two unhinged people on here, and I have been very between the lines, sir. Go on. No, I, I maintain. I didn't know we were we were breaking the rules. <laughs> can we do that? I will do the Korean voice. You can break every rule correct. you want. No, I'm not. I'm can not I? Can I? Can I? You, do I would like to point <laughs> out that him wearing a kimono is cultural like, appropriation. Can I just recite? <laughs> oh yeah, I, yeah. We'll get mad at that. We'll just we be like, about- hey, are you Japanese? You know where a kimono's from? That, say, can that can, say thank you in Japanese, yeah. and I'll let it pass. Can that be arigato. the? That's arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. You actually got it. All. You said thank you. Did, did I? Yeah. See, I. I speak Japanese. I speak many languages. Got to, I Mr. can't even say it like that because I don't want to. Jack, yeah, if you did. Yeah, so no, they, they're, it's, this is for a lesson, a teaching out there. You have to be careful on like each aspect of when you're uploading or what your editor has to edit. It's fucking ridiculous. Huh. It's wild. He's going to be You start sweating. being like, okay, oh, I can't do that. Okay, you can't. And then you just start going and it's like, don't say that. You guys are trying to convince out. me to start a freaking... Show earlier? Yes, yeah, this sounds exhausting. How? Jack, you have us. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, I'm just telling you, like, as somebody that started with nobody, <laughs> it would be really reassuring <laughs> to have a bunch of other people that liked you. Medium we would help you. at the YouTube You spec. could just text us. <laughs> Any time of the day, we'd respond to your yeah. questions. So and answer it. You. you wouldn't have to spend eight to hours on YouTube looking for some asshole to answer the question for you. Which is usually, dear God, is it? I've been Every getting, time, like the problem hmm. with this is like, I blew up on YouTube really quick. Like I'm not, I'm not fucking famous or anything, but like I got like a hundred thousand views and like a hundred thousand subs and like. You four, did quick. four months. Yeah, you did amazing. And then I would like get on it. Like I knew nothing. I was like, "Fuck it. Well, how do I, how do I do this? Is this allowed? Can I do this? Can I do that?" And then I'd ask YouTube, and there'd be like some instructional video, and they'd be like, "Okay, well, how credible is this guy? Oh, he's got seven subscribers. I fucking probably can't trust him." F- shit. How to get rich and become YouTube famous? Yeah. He has right. twelve subscribers. By, by, like, yeah, yeah, next. by Mister <laughs> Yeast. <laughs> 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 Six two four nine eight seven two. Yeah. His logo is a piece of bread. <laughs> it's like what? We have some cash. <laughs> yeah, falling in front of it. It's hard when you're for going- real. Please start a YouTube channel for Jack, Unhinged. Everyone, history. comment below because I know you're there. Comment below about Jack. Your, starting your perspective that- on history would be. Well, I like yours. I really do. I don't want to turn this into a, a DICK stroking contest, but you, I like the way you break <laughs> things down. You find some really niche stuff. I like it. I just get real pessimistic. That's my problem. I know. People would fucking love it. All right. 
I like Jack's. Do you know how many people just want to go home and Ryan's Reynolds themselves every day that would love to just listen to you lose your shit for eight minutes while they were driving home on a your Friday night? Your hair goes more horizontal <laughs> as yeah. you get pissed. Every yeah. day, they're just going to be like, fuck. My job sucks, but at least I'm not Jack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Oh, here, let's start. Why doesn't everybody realize how overrated JFK was? <laughs> go, do it. Let's go. How okay. overrated is she? Go. JFK, the reason why he was in Dallas in the first place, because he had to campaign hard in Texas, because there was a very good chance he was going to be the first Democratic president in like history to lose Texas. He wasn't that popular. You know why? He fucked up the Bay of Pigs. He prolonged the freaking Cold War. He wasn't, his poll numbers were not looking great at the time. There was a very good chance he was going to be beaten in the next election. The only reason why we, re, uh, we remember him the way we do, because we didn't come from that time, he got his brains blown out, he was hot, he had a hot wife, and we just have immortalized him at this point. But bring he up, really Bring up was, Marilyn Monroe. Huh? Bring up Marilyn Monroe. And, yeah, and JFK, look, good for him. He got a good piece of strange every day. Go ahead, I love you. Uh, Jackie O was not even that hot. She was classy hot. She's like a six out of Dude, 10. you're never going to find a woman six. like that who's that classy at the same time. There's a and there's also, a balancing act there, man. Bro, the hot, mm -hmm. classy matrix, very hard. Very mm -hmm. hard very to hard. find, yeah. And you, especially in modern days. He was banging that hot pill head on the side. Yeah. 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 Man, yeah. Well, he and, literally... I, uh, yeah, anyways. JFK was like really overrated derails. as a president, and we like yeah. immortalize him, and Republicans say things like, if he was locked day, he'd be a Republican. Not true. And the <laughs> Democrats also, they're, they're his centerpiece of like the ultimate freaking masculine freaking president. The guy, the guy was a dumb shit, had a terrible back. He was a broken little baby bitch. I want to punch back because I fucking loved him. <laughs> punch back. Oh, uh, Punch back. Have you heard about his military uh. career? Yes, of course. He he was by by the way, no, his dad, his dad prop again. Leg legitimately happened. Go ahead. No, no, he earned the medal, but that was propagated by his dad so he could get into office. That shit was prop they made a movie about him because his dad had connections in Hollywood. Because he was connected to the Do goddamn you know the mafia. Story? <laughs> yes, PT 109, he pulled a goddamn boat with his teeth. He did legitimately save a lot of lives. That was very common back then. But Nobody you, got movies made about him unless you're a goddamn Kennedy. But do you know about the coconut? <laughs> huh? Do you know about the coconut? Well, it was, uh, is it like the conch from Lord the, of the Flies? The, the fucking presidential paperweight, the official presidential paperweight was, for JFK was, okay. was a goddamn coconut husk in acrylic. Okay. First of all, I want to tell this story, but fucking Kingfish's little shit on his chest here is throwing me off. Okay. Oh, six <laughs> of my I, I, I promise, I promise <laughs> you. I called him Kingfish earlier. I was like, his name's King Trout. It doesn't matter. I promise I'm you, Kingfish. unlike I do with women, <laughs> I'll let you talk matter. all can the I have way through. Beer? Yeah, I got you both. Um, yeah, can Jack, I have, you need a thing. So, seven or nine. I'm good, thank you. I, I did a video on PT boats. Basically, they were wooden boats during World War II. They, would, they were basically speed boats. They would haul ass throw torpedoes at the enemy ships and peel off super fast. PT boats were badass. We can agree that yeah, for course, sure. 100%. 100%. So I'm not shitting on his military no, for service. Sure. But this is my favorite like presidential fact of all time. After he pulled the boat with his teeth and saved all his men, did, he did this good job. Did he do that? Yes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's, it's a thing. Yeah. And they wound his his boat because it was in a movie. His, his dad basically produced so he could well, become I know, president. I know his parents worshipped the devil and Sorry. ran alcohol. But his boat no. got rammed by a Japanese destroyer, cut in True. half. Two yeah. of his men died. He saved the other eleven. Mm -hmm. He pulled one of it. I don't. It wasn't his boat. It was one of his men back to shore with his teeth. That's where he fucked up his back. While mm. all of his men were there on this little pissant little island in the Pacific, he ended up writing a note on the fucking shell of a coconut and giving it to one of these indigenous people on the island that took one of their little canoes to a larger island and delivered this coconut husk to the Americans that was like a send fucking help message that ended up reaching command and they sent help and retrieved JFK and Great all of his story. men yeah. because he wrote it on a goddamn coconut like it's fucking Gilligan's Island and then he had it preserved in acrylic and it was on the on his desk in the Oval Office when he was president. And the ironic thing is another president who is a borderline hero if not flat out hero in World War II, one of the youngest naval pilots also a navy man shot down he was the guy who killed kennedy hw bush everybody <laughs> Dude, have you heard about the island oh bush the cannibal island no bush 41 yeah 
cannibal island. Do you know Wait, about the island? Is this a conspiracy theory? Or is no, there this is a hundred percent fact. Okay, all right. Okay, go uh, on. George, George Bush Senior joined as a naval aviator at the end. Of, he was the youngest. Yeah, he was the like youngest. the end of World War II, he flew a couple of missions at the ass end of World Trout. War II. Got shot down. You didn't right? warn me. Yeah. Prior to him getting shot down, one of the first missions that he ever fucking ran, a bunch of other people got shot down and landed on this fucking island. Like everybody in his squadron except for him got huh. shot down. And all of those soldiers landed on an island that was held by the Japanese and they were captured. And they actually like this particular, I don't know if it's a company or a battalion of Japanese soldiers were like particularly extreme. And they actually ended up eating the other pilots. And George Bush senior was the only one that didn't get shot down and survived. Holy shit. And all the other like people shit. in his squadron got l literally fucking eaten by Japanese soldiers. And he didn't find out about this until he was like already past his presidency. Really? Yeah. It's fucking wild. See, this is what I like about your stuff. You really dive, deep, deep, deep dive, dive into that stuff. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Okay. You're a history nerd, too. Yeah. Apparently, let's go. Fucking let's, get, let's, let's fucking go. I, I was like, okay, now everyone's loosened up. You're you. Podcasts are weird, aren't they? Yeah. At first, you're like, I don't, because I can already see it in your face. I've done this with a thousand fucking guests, not a thousand. But we should get our own shirt same. made that's called just history whore. But it oh, is learning it. to speak up over others. Let's go to it's bunker weird. Tomorrow. I'll get this I walked done. out stone cold sober from that airplane. Was not prepared. No, and that's why yeah, I know you text. You're like, hey, you asked, do they prep us for this? I'm like, and then I had no fucking clue what I was walking into. I didn't think I was going to get a fucking Uber from the goddamn airport and then show up and film this fucking shit. Fuck I had to dig through my fucking Adidas backpack God damn it, to get my, my kimono? goddamn kimono, my fucking headband, and my sunglasses out. Because I walked out of the fucking airport 20 minutes before I got here. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I didn't have one goddamn second to smoke a cigarette. I smoked three at your house. We show up here. The air Bro. conditioner's getting fucking fixed. You the fridge isn't plugged in. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Welcome to fucking Texas. God fucking damn it. The fridge is broke. Gonna, the air conditioner's this, broke. And G-Man, that is the intro. Right there is the intro to this show. Put that right at the beginning. So then it's just... Hardcore what? cuts into this. Jesus Christ. You gotta give me fucking five beers to warm me up. You can't just fucking drive me to some fucking no, we're going. parking lot. Get it going. We history. Tried. What's we your favorite, what's your favorite yeah, part what's of your history? What's your favorite story? My favorite part history. of history. Yeah, give what's me your favorite, favorite history. Your favorite war. Your one favorite history, fact. please. Your favorite anything. Let's one go. history, please. <laughs> yeah, just one not, history. Just one history. <laughs> Pull it out of your fucking ass. <laughs> Where in the kimono? Break out the fortune. Let's go. Uh, now it's it. Now you're like, I'm in the fucking zone. Yeah, Let's I got fucking, fucking go six this. beers in me. Good. Yeah. See, this is oh what we God. do. And I can't smoke in here. I'm fucking you want shaking. Energy? Who said that? I'm fucking shaking, and then you're like, This dead is fucking Texas. Up. I've smoked in here. <laughs> <laughs> it smelled terrible for three days. <laughs> Don't smoke in your house. <laughs> I remember that's the only time I immediately regretted something from the podcast. It was like, John, I was like, that was a fucking great podcast. We killed it. Did I smoke? I think I took a drag. Why does this house smell like shit now? <laughs> Everything fucking stinks like cat yeah. piss and cigarettes. What's that? How old are you? I'm old enough <laughs> to consent. <laughs> Eli! Hey! Eli! Where am I? How have you been sleeping so well in this Texas heat? Have you ever felt one of these ghost bed pillows? The cooling technology is mind-blowing. It's got to be one of the best parts about Ghost Bed. The cooling technology built into the pills and mattresses really helps cool us down. Sleep wherever you want. Like your bed. Your ghost bed. <laughs> ghost Bed also offers bundles, so you can get everything you need. You don't even really need to think about it. Cooling pillows and sheets and frames and mattresses and everything. You get the best bang for your buck. Every mattress has a 20 year warranty, some with 25. So, and you can try it out for 101 nights. So, if you don't like it, you can send it back. No hard feelings. Right now, GhostBed is offering 30% off everything if you use code unsub. 30% off everything at ghostbed.com slash unsubscribe. And you let's, smoke, like, you don't vape. You smoke fucking cigarettes. Yeah. You're like a Marlboro Dude, Red. He's from Indiana. Yeah. No, you know how, we we all know how long cigarettes will take to kill you. You die in, like, your 60s. Let's be honest. Like, Jack over there, like, he, you smoke, right? 25 years now. Right. How old are you? 
45. 40. <laughs> so, like, Jack over there I'm is from a, a generation. 52. Jack is from a generation where he was tricked. That man's a victim. Yeah. You knew the consequences. You, you're like, fuck yeah. it. Yeah, I'm volunteer. doing it anyways. You, I, I went in. I was like, oh, did he serve? No. No. Wait, he's I'm just a smoke cigarettes. Just, like, What's I'm, wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> he has no stressors in life. <laughs> yeah, no stress. Everything's perfectly <laughs> casual. That man life had for me. I wasn't in the military, so life for me, perfectly. <laughs> he had all the Your statistics. uncle never molested you. Yeah. <laughs> My uncle didn't. Touch me. It's cool. It's cool. It's, it's like it's like when you're cheating on a test and you know you have to do one question wrong so the teacher doesn't think you cheated. Yeah. He decided to smoke. Yeah. That's what, that's yeah. what he's doing in life. Yeah, yeah he's just like, like uh, it's like when I know this is wrong. wrong. He like looked when, down at his kimono as he tied his bandana. He's like, huh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do one thing though, so these guys think I'm cool. Yeah. It started out as a prop. <laughs> and here we are. Man, these fuckers taste good. It all started that when they gave me Nancy Reagan on that, Halloween. That Nancy Reagan was right. Yeah, the war on drugs, and drugs are winning. <laughs> Just say okay. no. So your piece of history, I want to hear your oh, favorite, favorite factoid. You have to have one. I know earlier you're uh, like Hitler. No, uh, when did I say Hitler? I don't know. We were talking about heroes, don't and you subject. brought him What's up. What's your favorite piece of history? Just it a, was in the car. Remember, you were talking about how much you loved him. <laughs> yeah, you were talking about heroes. You started <laughs> and we were like, I'm about my favorite guys. <laughs> yeah, and we were like, what the fuck? I said best friend. <laughs> what? Let's everybody, let's everybody, let's all raise our arms. A suspicious amount, 45 degrees, pointing to the northeast. I don't know. Can the bombing of Hiroshima be my favorite part of history? Can the fire bombings be my be. favorite part? Tokyo. Uh, yeah, let's talk about on. that. What nationality is your Asian ancestry? The poor one. Filipino. Oh, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> the bombing? Are you, are, you, are you seriously? <laughs> yeah, I'm the poor one. I thought you were half Korean this whole time. No. <laughs> Half North I love Korean. that. First off, you're white and you're like the poor one. That's not Korea. <laughs> it was like 50, I mean, it was like 50 it years could ago. Be North Korea. Yeah, I no, would I definitely mean, rather live in the Philippines than Korea North Korea. Korea. Magically, I'm from North Korea. <laughs> yeah, my parents escaped from Korea, went to Mexico. Breeded <laughs> and breeded. <laughs> you're a, you're one of them Spaniard Asians. Span I am. Yeah. Spain, I dude, I the most surprising was like 24, 20, 24 percent Native American. I was like, what the fuck? My parents lied to me. No, let's go ahead and talk about the fire Wait, bombings. Yours, I'm, fire bombings. Go. I'm I'm mad about how many experts on the ethics of nuclear bombings there are after the Oppenheimer movie came out. So go ahead and, and inform Nukes everybody on fire are bombings. Disgusting. No, I I I haven't even seen Oppenheimer. So nuke went off. So there's have you seen Barbie? Barbie? I have seen Barbie. Good. Barbenheimer. Yeah. A barbie. I, I didn't know I was going to be expected to tell you the story of fire bombings, but fuck. No, what's your favorite? Yeah. What's your no. what's your favorite piece Just of go. history? Like when you're like in your history fucking kimono and you put on your history headband, you're like, this is my favorite part. This is what I fucking live for. Uh, go. Uh, you know it's not sunny in here, right? Yeah. Okay. This, this is, is not Philadelphia. Sure. What do you want to say? <laughs> <laughs> Go. You had to have a favorite piece of history. Now you are so confident with these six cans of beer in front of yourself, and now you're like, I don't know. We should probably get more beer. Yeah. Uh, you want a shot? Have to divert the no, conversation. Beer. Do a shot. Drink beer. Beer. Yeah, Just I'm grab the grab one of the, <laughs> grab, the spot. grab one of the six packs of Corona. We're doing this. I love it. Is it? Oh, what? Oh. Jack, you want a beer? You need a drink? You good? You want, no. an, you want an energy drink? No. You know, uh, no, I'm good. I'm having good with my little uh, whiskey and Coke here. All right. Edit this out. All right. All right. I haven't had anything to drink in like five days, so it's actually hit me pretty hefty. It's true. Same. Wait, do you have a can opener for someone? I got you. I got a big lighter. No, thank you, Daddy. I appreciate it. Okay. Do you need more out of table, man? Or ice? Bro. No, Jack, I'm, I'm here for you, Jack. I'm good. I put my nuts on this Ooh. table. The table's fine. Yeah. Show me. What, uh... Okay, it doesn't even need to be your favorite part of history or a fact. I'll do this. What's, like, a rant that you can think yeah. of? Like, something you feel strongly about that maybe 
is uh, misinterpreted or what's a, what's a meme you saw that upset you about history because you know it's wrong? Oh my god! I love that game, brother. What the fuck? I got okay, one after here, this. You get this. Yeah. No, let him answer. I can tell oh, you. I got you. Don't you worry about it. This is how I know you guys have not done fucking podcasts oh, for a living. Jesus fucking Christ. It's not the story. It is when you're on a podcast, does it not feel fucking weird at first? You're like, oh, I do this for a living. I'll be able to connect instantly. Once these cameras turn on, you're like, fuck. I don't want to speak over when anyone. I don't want to do that. I'm like, uh, what story do I tell? Man, is it going to be embarrassing? That's a great question. Yes. It's uncomfortable as fuck. <laughs> Why? And being asked a fucking specific ass question, <laughs> like what's one time? <laughs> That you can think of and right now on the spot. God damn it. This, uh, this is I'm why sorry. I run the podcast. See, you know what that reminds me of? I, went, I got accepted to go back to college because I'm going to get my four-year degree in history, and then I'm going to get my master's in history. And they open up that big history factory right now, up north. What's that? They opening up that big history <laughs> factory you're going to go work at? No! No, I have a very big, <laughs> big history farm. <laughs> Nick Clark! That's one of the funniest things I've ever... Dude! No, I'm a history major, bro. Dude, Dude. Nick's checking in at his history factory. He's like, choo -choo. good to see you, boys. What's up? Bro, all right, history history dad. Dad. Dude, dude's going to get a degree in history. Tell, tell, off the top of your head, top 15 favorite and, history facts. And bro, I just want to say, you have more to offer now being online than you ever would being in a classroom teaching. No, I know, but I have to get a history degree to do what I want to do. Why? Because I came to a super painful realization a couple months ago, so of, I just have to do what? it. what? Uh, history is written by the... Winners. Yeah, it's a fucking lie. <laughs> History is written by the punk ass fucking bitches that never even played the game. <laughs> and uh, I mean, now. Every, in every every fucking conflict since the European theater ended in World War II, everything has been viewed through a lens of anti America. And it's fucking disgusting. And I have to go get a master's or a doctorate in history so I can start rewriting textbooks to fucking change it. You're going to, you're part of a conspiracy at this point. If it's just me and myself, then sure. Okay. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Um, you spill it? So, like, you need it's common knowledge <laughs> that America you. lost the Korean War, right? Well, well, I think the technical thing is it was a stalemate. Hold on, guys. Wait, hold on. Stalemate. See what happened? Do you see what happened? I look at it as a long-term no, victory. No, fucking check. <laughs> we were on a road. My then we were making fun of him because he couldn't tell a story. Yeah. And now we're deviating. He had the best singer of the night. He's good. I know. Was fucking he had a very good singer. And now we're going to, now he's like, okay, okay, I can do what I want. I can be more comfortable in this situation. And now he is going to tell one of his top five favorite yeah. pieces of history in the war. Just, the, riffing. just the war. Yeah. The war. Yeah, the in war. Any war. Let's any start war. with this. What's your. What's wait, wait, no. Oh, go. What's your deepest wealth of knowledge on like a historical topic? Like, is it World War II? Is it like the Revolutionary War? Is it ancient Japan? Is it? Like, He's like, what, I don't even what's like. What's your war. favorite period or <laughs> point of war. history? It's all about peace, dude. <laughs> yeah, what's your favorite peace period? A peace period, probably. Oh, World America. War II. There's been like what, like eighteen years of peace American history, yeah. fucking like three hundred. No, years? just fucking yeah. American history. In oh, good. Okay, Not me too. High five. To war. Hell yeah. Okay. Gonna, and then oh, World War II fucking rocks. Better. World War II is your favorite piece of American history. Uh, yeah. Local what other presidential what, well, history? The entirety. Oh, um, you're just like fucking American from start history. Just USA, to baby. Pro America. Do, do you know who who is pretty much like. Created the American military, the American army oh, specifically fuck. as we know oh, it. Fuck. Friedrich von Steuben, he is the father of the American <laughs> army. Okay. He went to Valley Fair, right? There's going to be like a <laughs> fraction of the people listening to this that are going to get that reference. You have to be knowledgeable about revolutionary history and be from and North Iowa. <laughs> yeah. Getting so fucking specific. There's gonna be seven people in the comment section like that was genius, bro. Bro, yeah, there was yeah. five comments like ha 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 hour forty minutes fucking dope. <laughs> You're like what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> I'm a history major from Minnesota. That was hilarious. Yeah. 
Uh, lost okay. my track, train of thought. On that. Uh, you were Sorry. talking about what your military. Yeah, your thing homeboy. Did. Here, just Frederick, deep throat that real quick. Frederick von whatever. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Friedrich von Steuben. You know yeah. about him? Well, let me tell you something about Fried von Steuben, Daddy. Fried Fried von Steuben was the uh, he was the father of the American mi- army as we know it. He literally he basically wrote the book that that the all the other you know chapters got started getting written on. Okay. And Friedrich von Steuben, he came over from Prussia. He was a Prussian military officer. And he said, oh, them Americans ain't looking good right now. And he went up to that General Washington. He said, General Washington, you look like you boys could eat some help. And he found them at Valley Fair there. At Valley Fair. It was all snowy because it gets snowy around Valley Fair. And he's like, I'm going to teach you boys how to march. I'm going to teach them drill. I'm going to teach them all the ranks and the standards. And he turned that little ragtag group, a little blue bear, blair, Blue wearing boys, he turned them into a real military. And guess what they did? What did they do? They beat them little red uh, wearing boys, all because <laughs> that Fred Friedrich von Stupe and the president, the general at the time, who eventually became president, realized that this man is the father of the army. We're gonna give you some land out in New York. You come here, you stay in America. Friedrich von Steuben. Another thing about him is he was very openly gay. It's well documented. He was gay as shit. He brought all <laughs> his gay lovers with him. He was gay in front of everybody. No gave a Dude. no one gave a shit. So all this talk now the days about the, the the woke military, the gays, the woke mil- the gays in the military. The United States Army was started by a well documented father of the military. <laughs> Back in the day, <laughs> the, way, <laughs> the way. The way they would talk about being gay too, they'd be like, every time you they read, didn't care like back this, then like no, we did like, now. They'd be like, oh, he hung out with this guy all yeah. the time. They lived together, you know. They lived together and they slept in the same the bed. Kind of that's homophobia. You know, that's where the comment the came com- from. The, 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 the kind of homophobia we've seen in the last hundred years, it wasn't like that back in the day. They knew gay people existed, and they're like, okay, that's weird, but sure. You got guns that you can send us? Great, yeah. Fine. This is how I suck start to my 12 kids. Yeah. <laughs> Where, why did the German accent come out of left field? I, He's in Prussian. Because of Friedrich von St- Prussian, yeah. 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 Not Russian, Prussian. They're German. Prussian. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, see? See, fucking Prussian checking blue. my history, yeah. bro. Bro, I know my Fine. Fine. I was whatever. Right. I was right. Okay, favorite piece of history. Yeah, bro. go. Jesus fucking Christ. Do you, you think we're going to drop it? You had fucking given 30 you all minutes. day to think about no, this. I've been actively thinking about other things. <laughs> I know hot dudes are next to you. Fuck, Let's pick move. a piece of Japanese culture or American culture. You're wearing yeah. a kimono and American flag head. <laughs> he just pulls it in. Like, he's like, so fucking the kimono, go. it comes Let from it the, the, the ancient first thing Japanese that came, culture. The first thing that came to mind was something you've already made a video about, and it was the fucking bat bombs. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that was that was a good piece of history. I'm, I'm going to correct you the whole time. Go yeah, ahead. I know. That's why I'm nervous. <laughs> no, just fucking You made the fucking go. video about it. So... Uh, the, yeah, back. If it's your sorry, favorite man. piece, you have okay. to understand you a lot of us aren't going to watch every piece of his content. I'm a terrible friend. I've watched like five of his videos. It's a true well, story. That's it. You always a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, hundred percent. I know this and I own it, yeah. and it doesn't affect me at all. You paid for our sushi, and I think you're great, Daddy. See, that's all you got to do: buy your friend sushi, and they're good. <laughs> he did buy me a really good sushi. That's fair. <laughs> They're like, hey, you pay for our Can't travel and that. shit. We're good. <laughs> he flew us down. <laughs> Whatever. Fuck. Although he said, I was sitting right next to the shitters, and some guy took a shit, and I was right next to That means you were in the back of the plane, right? Dude, I was in the fucking midsection wing. Oh, see? Yeah. One seat in front. I couldn't leave. Well, you were a big boy plane. Yeah, I didn't, I talking didn't, about some country. I didn't want to fucking brag. So, like, I bitched about Sun Country a couple podcasts ago when Eli fucked me. Uh, he, I didn't he, know. Bro, hey, he, it started in the headquarters out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. He put me in a flight that didn't even have fucking Wi-Fi, okay? This is basically Amish flight, okay? Eli it did was terrible. not know this. But the here's horses the deal. had wings. Show you <laughs> hiring <laughs> the lovely lady that operates some of the scheduling. Oh, show she, is amazing. She, she, she really is. And I'm going to tell you why, because I don't even think you know this. And it, if She it put cha- you in it, nicer seating. Bro. I know. She scheduled me, and I was like, hey, I'm fat. Every single time I come down here, I just get on my, you know, I always fly Delta. I get on the Delta app, and I just pay $19.99, and I upgrade my seating to Comfort Plus because yeah. it's, it's way better. Are, do you have status? 
No, not yet. I don't fly oh. that much yet, but I hope maybe one day. Get but on it, because once you get status, you'll don't ever you'll never have to worry about paying again. You'll just automatically get upgraded. That'd be awesome. But yeah. like, so like, I always try to get Del spend the twenty bucks, get Comfort Plus right away. You flew and down here. <laughs> we got him horse. Bro, I took a, I, I took a fucking covered wagon. That's I, I, dude. I hop fucking trains. It anyway, took me so his family long. died. It was a Oregon trail. I always just <laughs> get on the app to pay the extra twenty bucks and get the comfort plus or whatever. But sometimes it's sold out, so I don't get it, and then I'm like stuck. I'm kind of fat. I don't really like it. I'm always in the middle. A hundred percent of the time, <laughs> I've flown thirty times now. I've never flown sitting next to somebody smaller than me it's always me and two offensive linemen from the fucking st louis rams every goddamn time so i always get comfort plus and i just told show like hey fucking grab me the comfort plus seats out of the gate so that way i'm sure to get them she fucking got me first class seats for the first time in my life it was super cool that's awesome yeah yeah hey can show I why yeah does he look like first class? If I, if I don't hey, get first class from now on, I'm I have not a more coming. important question. When was the last time you watched coming. NFL football? Because the St. Louis Rams haven't been there in like Shh. four Anyone years. Remember? I've been a Rams fan my entire life. It's fucking St. Louis. I know it was LA before. It was you didn't St. grow Louis. up a Chiefs fan or a Vikings fan? No. Or Bears I, fan? I was born in California. My, fa uh, my family's from gross. California. I moved. Where? where? Uh, I was born in Chico. Okay. My family's from like mid to northern California, and uh, I moved Mexican to Iowa. I moved heart. to Iowa when I was like thirteen years old, and I finished. Oh, you're more California. Well, I mean, you've been there for a long, but like as far as like your formative years, you're more Californian for sure. Oh, no That's shit. why I love Iowa. That's so That's why you're much smarter than because I'm like fully capable of understanding what a fucking shithole California is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Amen. But you also get to be <laughs> smarter than a lot of the Iowans. Yep, that also happened. It was really frustrating because, like, I showed up at middle school and I was wearing, like, you know, like, Doc Martin boots. And everybody's yeah. like, who's this fucking nerd wearing geek shit? Yeah. And then, wait, like, you had, wait, then, wait like, hold on. And no, then, like, ah, seven. Ah, 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 bet, bet. You had Doc Martens in high school? I had Doc Martens in middle school, homie. Huh, wow, we grew up separate lifestyles. Yeah, wealthy Yeah, you're parents. old as fuck. No, not that. You're like Grey Bush it's the fucking Wise. what he said. Fucking wealthy lifestyle. Yeah. Ooh, what's it like to be upper middle class? Uh, I'm definitely not upper middle class, You're bro. Fucking your middle parents class, have that would have been pool. nice. Bro, neither of my parents have a high school diploma. Don't <laughs> you had, I, neither I, had, I had a pair of Doc Martens, okay? Doc Martens is what I got Just to Just one. Doc Martens is what I got to go I got to wear for gym class. What I got to wear when we went to the beach. Have you it's ever what I got to wear when we went fucking no, no, everywhere. No, 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 no. I no, got one is, nice pair of shoes, is, and that was no, fucking no, 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 it. No, 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 You get a... You, this is what you sound like. Okay, first off... <laughs> Let's go, Eli. Hey, law school in Harvard guys. was not that good. You're about Hold to on, Jack. Shut the fuck argument. up. Let me talk about mm -hmm. Harvard. It's a downgrade from a lot of universities, okay? <laughs> fucking these, these shoes? Ugh. Ugh, one pair. I had Spaldings. Do you know where those are from? Walmart. Do you know how much they cost? Ten dollars. You know how long that took my parents to pay off a layaway? Fucking years. My parents only had one Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The <laughs> Indiana boys. What's up, dude? <laughs> Yeah. Hell yeah! Oh, fucking dockers over here. I watched commercials <laughs> about this and got depressed of what people could do. I was like, man, Spalding never had a commercial. Ever. Doc Martin had commercials? Ever. Yes! Doc D-O-C. <laughs> He's a doctor. Dr. Martin had commercials. <laughs> the medical doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to doubt him at this point. No, dead serious. <laughs> Do you know Doc Martin was a Nazi? Yes. Yeah, that's uh -huh. why. That's why like neo Nazi skinheads always wear Doc Martens. Oh, because yeah, Doc Martin was a fucking. Mm, I don't like that one bit. No, no. <laughs> Tell him. <that>. Anyways, <laughs> Jake's like, Jake's like Jake. Anyways, Jake. I just want to make it clear. I've never wore Yeezys or any of that bullshit. <laughs> just Doc Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Only Doc Martin. <laughs> Well, now that I know who Doc Martin was, I'll never wear his product again, even though I've never worn it in 20 years. <laughs> Same. Yeah. I couldn't afford him. Anyway. Also, also, <laughs> yeah. Also, but if we are going to go there, like nobody can like buy BMW or Mercedes or a lot of, lot of other products. Lots of VW. Oh, fun yeah, fact VW. about uh, the VW Beetle. So I like went off a fucking deep end with the VW Beetle. Um, 
So they were, uh, they were. Let's uh, shut down the German economy, boys. They were originally started right. as like this fucking. It was going to be the solution to the German economy <laughs> during World War II, right? Was it the final so, solution to the <laughs> German economy? Not that one. It was the solution before the final. Yeah, solution. right. Yeah, that. Um, <laughs> so they were like, uh, it, they never ended up like giving everybody that paid all their money in to them. All like all the high ranking political people got their VW bugs and everything, but. If you look at the like the original VW Volkswagen Beetles, they had a suspension system totally unjustifiable by their weight. And like I didn't his, know this, historians go. back historians are like the only logical reason that the suspension system on the original Volkswagen Beetles are that fucking sturdy is because they had plans to cut the roofs out and mount crew served machine guns on top and that is like a hundred percent what went down like all the original beetles that were manufactured were designed to cut the fucking roof off and mount a fucking mg42 on can you imagine it's fucking crazy. That sounds like Did a Richard Ryan job. Give him some love, bug. Though. So there's the Avengers. We are the offenders. Our super okay. pay- powers, uh, they, they differ. So um, you get to choose your own superpower. We get to choose the offset. So me, I am. I have two different superpowers. One is, well, my main superpower is I, have the, I run at the speed of, I'm Flash. Fucking okay. Mexican. I am the brown flash. The brown streak is what they call me. Are you, wait, hold on. Stop. The, stop. The brown streak. Are you yeah, still the brown I'm streak? Bro- because I thought we made you. Oh, I'm still. But I thought the we brown made you streak. crime cruck. Oh, crime c- cuck for a crime, minute. So I'm, I still go. Oh, man, it's so hard because crime cuck is my uh, my. Is that a offset, parallel and universe? I love it. No, no. Okay. That's my offset and because I think it is the most fantastic offset. So. Imagine this. I show up as the flesh. Okay. Someone is, something bad's happening. Got it. Bad things. Graping. (laughs) Don't even know. (laughs) Murder. (laughs) I have a five minute cool. I have a five minute cool down where I can't interrupt. You're just hanging out. I I can't touch anything. I I can't call 911. Super speed mode. You're going to be a great witness. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Crime cock. Fucking so good. We have Batty. <laughs> Batty. Strong as shit. Bra- Batty fucking. <laughs> I thought we made him drywall Magneto. <laughs> no, not him. He's not. No. Who did we make drywall Magneto? Batty, because his name. Wait, go on on this? Now I'm actually confused. There's been what's, so, what's, there's what's, Batty, what's Batty's name? Batty. Kyle. Oh, my God. Yeah, we made him drywall Magneto. Like, he's Magneto, but only for drywall because Kyle's, That's a only, kick-ass Ky- Kyle. Kyle's only punched drywall. So, like, he's Magneto, but for but drywall. But he has to drink domestic Mountain Dew violence. and commit domestic violence in order to activate his superpower. His original superpower yeah. is just super strength. He just came every time he activated. Cody, Saving both it. of those sound so good. Cody, yeah, until you save a bus full of kids. Cody could fly, but only while he was yelling racial slurs. So donut. All three of these superpowers sound great. Right. Yeah, so but you don't. pick your superpower. We pick the offset. Okay. I love donut. Imagine this donut walking up. He's like, fuck, these Mexicans burning up in that building. He just walks up with a ladder. And he's like, awkwardly places. <laughs> he's like, fuck, it's too short. He's like, they're just like, fly up to me. He's like, mm, 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 mm. I'm going to figure out how to get this ladder. <laughs> Up there, because <laughs> you're always trying to offset. You're like, uh-uh, I'm flying to death. I was post nut clarity man, right? Yes. What was your offset? I had, I had, what I have the I powers of Professor Xavier, but only for like a minute after I come. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, was so that I, it? I have to re jerk off or come, and to get thirty more seconds of Professor Xavier power. Who was the person I gave? They could, uh, they could read minds, but. No, who the oh, wife no, that could was, also read their mind. That was Leon Lush. Leon Lush. So he could read all minds, but his wife or spouse at any given time that he was involved with could read their mind, his mind at any given oh, time. That one sucks. Yeah. So go on. What's your yeah, superpower, what's your power? Jack? I think we have to give you one too. Sure. Yeah. Oh, I love this. What's your power? I'm gonna go with teleportation. Uh, Demo has that. You know, dude. Oh, yeah. So Demo has that already. He has to kill a kitten in order to teleport. Oh, no big deal. 
He's, so, a, he's a veterinarian. So, <laughs> anytime. So imagine this. <laughs> he's got free teleportation, dude. He, he has a bag of kittens. How we said it's a belt of he's kittens. He's killing kittens for a living. Yeah, but imagine this. You're like, shit, those kids are on fire. You teleport, you're like, kids, hold on. <laughs> Just Take it out. the next, dude. Yeah, and then when you get lazy, you're like, I gotta go pee. <laughs> <laughs> you stop caring about the kittens. You're like, I'm taking it for power. Uh, yeah, yeah, has invisibility are, uh, been taken? Invisibility. Rich had invisibility, but he had to masturbate so you would hear the sound anytime he was invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Dude, I'm a quiet <laughs> masturbator. <laughs> but, uh, I, I'm a dry guy. Are you guys white guys? I'm not. You Wait, lotion what? up? You lube up? I'm, I, I, going I, dry? Do, I do the. Yeah. Moisturize. Understood. Wait for jerking off. Yeah. Oh no, I, I'm I'm a dry guy. Okay. I've never met a man that moisturized to jerk off. I don't, like it's a, like a meme. It's a fucking the, the weird. The fucking brand name is it called. It makes your dick stronger. Wait, do you guys put lotion on when I you don't. jerk Christ. off? No. Pick a superpower. Sorry. Go. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I was worried about. Ah. <laughs> uh, we'll fuck. tell you the. We'll tell you if it's been taken or not. <laughs> would, you, yeah. would you Would you like to have some time to think? No, okay. I'm I'm thinking uh, just Nightcrawler. Can I just be Nightcrawler from X Men? Like with the tail and the teleport. I teleport. Just, I just want to be blue and have you Think know, of teleportation power. power. Oh, that that's the same thing. Yeah. Fuck. Go ahead, Jack. Yeah. I'd like. But to think. Don't look at Jack. Think. Go ahead, Jack. I'd like to bring my brother back to life. <laughs> That's what I need a superpower. Can you bring all dead people back to life? Okay, no, I Darth do, Vader. I, I just want to bring my brother back to life. That's selfish as fuck, Jack. First off, that's your fucking offset. All people like I gotta bring Hitler back to life or I don't know, maybe if that's what you want, you selfish piece of shit. <laughs> Why would you just target that one and not help humankind? I'd just like to have one last conversation with him. That's it. You want to do it for five seconds, and that's it. No, not five seconds. You five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. And then re experience death. Jack, you could, already have your offset. <laughs> Depression. That is your offset to the superpower. Did, did I break the system yet? Uh, no. Did I break the system? Jack's like, I just want one more talk so I can cry. <laughs> I want to relive this moment. Let me slide this in. Okay. Brother, I want to Your brother Reynolds wakes up and he's like, ah, I was in heaven. What the fuck, Jack? All right, okay. It, it, uh, real superpower, <laughs> if I can't have like a magical power like that. I'd like to, you know what? I'd like to... <laughs> I'd like to transport into time. Okay. I'd like oh. to go back and to transport. I'd like, yeah, transport into That's time. That's perfect. Traveling? Yeah. You have no control time over travel. where you time travel. Go. Oh, oh. That's your fucking offset. You go back in time. You but will no always control. land in the period of time you, you are stuck in. You get yeah. no stop. But you go no, no, like no, no, quantum no. leap. You get to pick the exact time that you land in. You do not get to pick your gender or ethnicity, though. <sighs> Oh, oh my. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So I'm not going to the antebellum south. Yeah. I wouldn't go anywhere after 2000, to be honest with you. Yeah. Jack's like, I'm going back. Wait. Before He's about to push that button. It's like the sweat breaks out. He's like, Man, this could go in many different ways. I could get Bitcoin you or get, I could die. You get to pick the date. That's it. You don't get to pick the location you spawn, your gender, or your ethnicity when you get there. I would welcome the challenge. I picture this. Good fucking luck. I picture this on camera. We got a good angle. Ready? Jack has a button. It's right here. He's like this. Okay, let's see. Okay, going back. That's all it's going to be is a blink of his skin color and be like, nope. Or yes, maybe. <laughs> That's all it's going to be, Jack. Or are you going to roll the dice? Like, eh, we're fine with this. Okay, I'm in. Oh, man, you look So you get to pick the year? I just pick the year, I guess. Yeah. Oh. No, you don't. Yeah, you get to pick the year. But, like, That's it. you're restricting yourself because you are... You're really spinning the wheel. Yeah, I'm going to stand out in certain places in certain time frames. Most yeah, places and most yeah. times. But what if I end up at like a Jimmy Buffett concert in 1979? I'm going to fit right in. Rest in Jack, peace. So that's your one goal is to <laughs> hit that and quit time traveling. He's like, I fucking made it. <laughs> it's like 1969. I hope this it's is where I <laughs> This is where I belong, brother. 
<laughs> he yeah. just lives out his life. He retires. He, yeah. he dies. I, yeah, I'd already be retired by now this year right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got Jax. King Trout, what do you got? Fuck. Superpower. Uh, good offset. Oh, my God. I'm going to do... Uh, the ability to fly has that been done? No, yeah, no, Cody. Cody. He's got to yell damn. racial slurs. So yeah, yeah. What other superpowers are there? There's a lot. Think yeah, about I fucking mean, any show. True. I've yeah. I've only named like four so far. Yeah. Uh, you did time travel. We've got good. You narrowed down two. Yeah, I've listed <laughs> two of the ones that have been restricted. <laughs> Shit. Uh, we shape shifting. Let- has that one been done? I don't think that. I has can been change done. into anybody who I want. You know, fucking uh, the blue chick from X Men. Yeah. Oh, that's like a good that. one. That's, that's a, a really good, good one. Solid, yeah, it's a solid power. Yeah, it's always the opposite sex. Hold on, <laughs> but no, so, no, no, I thought you said no, it was no. a negative. You, any, any, any situation you shape shift into as as soon as you like come into the complete body, you immediately have diarrhea. I, that's, that's what my, I was thinking as well. Yeah. Okay. No, what's the offset? Oh man, no. If he shape shifted in the opposite and was just extremely horny. No, no, I don't want that. Why? I lived like that for from the yeah. age of t- as a male, uh, yeah. twelve okay, to freaking thirty five. Yeah. If he shapes Pardon? into a girl, he's like, Fuck, because he keeps all the memories from it. Yeah. So I'm me in a woman's body. Yeah, but you're horny. Yeah, you don't know. But am it. I horny in like a woman's perspective? No, you want dick. Yeah. So I wa- so yes. So I want dick. Yeah, like you're like this is one of fucking. But you remember it, and then after you go to Mel's perspective, you're like, mm. oh, I got to remember it? Yeah. Oh, no. See, that's how you make it off. <laughs> I have to remember it? <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> I don't like shape-shifting anymore. It's like always the first line of business. You have the most amazing shape-shifting power. Sometimes it's Mel. Sometimes it's a female. It's always horny, though. Sometimes you no, just... No, fuck like, that. Okay, go you, on. you get to shape-shift... Okay. But whatever you shape shift into, nope. the, the genitalia is the exact opposite of what it should be. What Fuck no, off. I already got it. I like if you shape shift into the hottest woman no, on the planet, stop. you have a foot long dick. Oh, no, oh if you ever been to Thailand, bro? Dude, food nari shit. Hell yeah. No, no, nope. We're going to race that. We're going to fucking do that. Your power stands. You get to morph into whatever you fucking want every other time. You are the most. Whoever you want, you can shape shift into that. Okay. Every shape shift in between is a sex object that you don't get any say in. Mm, I don't like it. So you're saying dildo? Every, every other one, like every other one. Yeah, you'd be, be like, like I want to be a present. To, or, yes, to uh, some random. Random it is a 24 hour oh, cycle. I've seen some people at Walmart I would not want to be the butt plug of. Just imagine that you're like, I gotta be the president tomorrow. But today, I am Steve's butt plug. <laughs> and you're sitting on that fucking countertop hoping you don't get used to that. You're Can like, I voluntarily no. change back? No, you are stuck for 24, 24 hours. hours each. No, 24 you get a hours great opportunity and a terrible <laughs> oh, opportunity. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> that yeah, is, no, yeah. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. You just I'll like, take that. Wait, so you're going like, from heaven to hell, heaven to yeah, hell, heaven that's to back hell. back and forth. That's every day of my you're life. You're just dude. like this. <laughs> it's Steve, and you're like, oh, fuck my life. I guess I just live in Steve's ass. For 24, for 24 hours. You're like, hours. Steve, don't use me. You don't know. It's the unknown. If Steve's, Steve or whoever is using you for that day, mm. it could be Catherine. You're like, Catherine, fucking, you're horny today. Dude. You can't say anything because you're a purple dildo every time it cuts to you. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine's top drawer. It's inside thoughts. <laughs> but that chance. Yeah. <laughs> so random person. But then you get your dream yeah. job. Sometimes you get to be Huckleberry. Sometimes you got to be Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Go on about Jim. Well... His name was Jim Conklin, which is the initials JC, which is actually an acronym for Jesus Christ because he was the Jesus Christ character in the novel Huckleberry Finn. And uh, this is obviously apparent to Jesus Christ. I, have, I gotta pee. I gotta, I have to quit. Holy, Holy fucking shit. shit. I gotta fucking piss and smoke a cigarette. No, Holy shit. Oh, go smoke, go smoke. Hey, Eli, you wanna just be on the show together? I'll go real quick. Okay. Okay. I, I gotta pee pee real quick. Wait, we have. Well, you're leaving bathrooms. me alone? Give me three seconds. There's bath, two bathrooms upstairs. Jack, I'll be down and we'll fucking... Are you still recording? Yeah. Hi. Mm. Okay. I'll turn the light on for your bathroom. 
Hi, uh, my name is Jack Manville. It looks like the boys have left me to carry the show for the time being, and that's okay. I am a confident, I am a confident fifty-two-year-old man, and I've been in the entertainment business for years now. I'd like to go into detail about something I feel very strongly about. Okay, and that's cat puke. We got to stop cats from puking. I've been staying at my buddy's house for a couple weeks now, and his cats, they puke everywhere. And cat puke is the worst kind of puke. So how do we solve this endemic? Well, we've created a 5013C profit to stop cat puke. And the cats, once we get the money, the cats will stop puking. So please hit me up at uh, jack.manville at gmail.com and we can stop the cats from puking all cats around the world that's j-a-c-k dot m-a-n-d a-v-i-l-l-e at g-m-a-i-l uh, dot com and we will stop the cat puke problem in the world that's right check out jammanville.com and stop the Cat puke problem in the world it's today. The most aggressive piss I've ever taken in my entire life. Yeah, I squirted my piss. Yeah, was it like a 9 11 piss? I pissed hard. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's either 9 11 like the gas station. That's, that's Jesus. No, Muhammad Atta on September 11th, 2001, <laughs> he uh, boarded Flight 11 uh, in Logan Airport in Boston. He hijacked a plane and flew it into the first uh, World Trade Center, one of two that would be hit that day. Also, the Pentagon and a poor field in Pennsylvania where many souls lost their. Are we? What are we doing? <laughs> Just listen, <to> Jack. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what's your favorite like point in history to learn oh, about? Yeah, Jack, you're a history you guy. Jack, let's you're a history let's go. Buff. Well, so so I, I'm one of those people that I get I get I get, I, I, I don't know if you're like me. I get super obsessed on certain subjects for periods of time. And then, you know, I generally carry that information with me. So I, I'll go like hard into certain things and just move on to the next. You have these random patches of knowledge that are like a mile deep and then like nothing on the rest of the year. Yeah, I'm exactly. Yeah, like I don't that. specialize. I, so yeah. I know a little about a lot type of deal. Yeah. Um, you know, If I had to say anything, and it's something I'm not an expert on. I'm o I'd only refer to the thing that literally got me interested in history, and I'll tell you why if you're interested. Yeah. But we uh, the American no. Civil War. Yeah. Uh, love it. It, it is it is the first thing that actually took me into my love and understanding of history. But the reason is, in my family, we had every single day journals from my great great grandfather who was in the Army of the Potomac from day one till the end. Uh, we had his journaling from every day at all the battles, every day of camp life, muster rolls, pictures, letter, uh, thousands of correspondence. Wait, hold on. From when? 1861 to 1865. And this is all documented? It's, it was, I grew up just reading it as a child. That's, like, brother, that's, for, yeah. Insane. That's fucking awesome. It yeah, was awesome. That's it was awesome. Just, it, and that, and it's like, I was like, it sounds weird, but as a child, I was getting to live vicariously through this man. Uh, but it, it really set the course of why I, 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 so this is why if, if you look at kind of the like comedy I've done historically, when people chime in about what it means to be a soldier and all that, and they try to romanticize the past, what he wrote about in his diaries in the civil war, the shit that those guys said, did, and went through is the exact same shit that's happening now. It's it's always been that way. It's the exact same shit that fucking the, the Romans uh, were going Every, through. Everyone Dude, throughout the time shit, would write stories. They soldier write life stories. has never fucking changed no. at all. So when I see these fucking weird Tommy Tuberville types who like romanticize the military and they have this weird idea of what the people who serve, serve look like, they're dead wrong. They, they're... Like they don't understand the type of people that are in this world, and, and, and like they only serve to politicize them. Like soldiering life has never changed ever. The o the only difference, and this is from a historical. Yes, there's more point. tattoos now. No, well, yeah, that too. A hundred percent. It is with. I just like this piece of history, studying from the old to the new, because PTSD wasn't as it happened in the past. Before. It was real. Oh, a hundred percent. The cool down period from transition from war to um, civilian life was ex extremely different. So that's one thing. They had to rush back into life. 
Yes, where yeah. they had a cool down period of this March home. And that March home wasn't like, hey, we get to fly back in 24 hours and then we're back with the civilian community interacting. You had this three month cycle, six month cycle where yeah. you are walking back from the war from that with your brothers in arms that usually were you know villagers. it's over. Yeah. Yes, and there were yeah. villagers, they were civilians all around you, or if that city you lived in. And you had this three to six month cool down period where you're talking to your buddies, you're decompressing, you're getting back to, okay, this is normalcy. And that is why they seen a lower period. And of course, records didn't happen, but is one thing that I've uh, read on and studied about PTSD in the past versus PTSD now, which is really interesting to me. I love psychology. I love watching how the human brain interacts. Well, if you get into it like cameras, you might as well be fucking. I do. I, I Freud over there. Study so, human conditioning with that a though. Gross amount. If you I want to it. talk about like something that gets really weird, um, if you actually look at World War II, the difference in opinion and the inability to relate to fellow combat veterans post World War II between guys that served in the European theater and guys that served in the Pacific yeah. was a huge fucking thing that nobody talks really? about because yeah. they fought two different completely wars. different yeah. wars in every way imaginable. Who and gets had shit on the most? They don't they they don't really get European shit on. guy just got more pop culture attention. A hundred percent. You look yeah. at Band of Brothers versus they get way more pop culture. They get seen as like like generically speaking, they're always seen as the good guys. Whereas like a lot theater. of people have a bad taste about the Pacific because they have a, a an opinion about like how it ended with the atomic bomb. So there's that, but there's Surprise also Surprise news story. Uh, Japanese did probably more horrific shit than the Nazis did. There's in no, China. there's no, not probably. probably yeah. It was a hundred percent the Japanese the, uh, did. The, the rape of Nanking, like again, the of Nanking I think, was it, I think it's lazy to crazy. compare. Like who is worse, the Nazis or the Japanese? Both did terrible things. But yeah, but it's like, but it's just we don't really talk about as much of the reason why we don't talk about as Nanking much. Nanking was crazy. We don't we don't talk about Japanese atrocities as much as we do. Uh, a German or Nazi atrocities is because uh, it's still to this day, but still to this day, but especially back then, America was very Eurocentric, very Eurocentric. They only really gave a fuck about what's happening in Europe because the majority of Americans uh, fucking, they were white and they came from that fucking bloodline. Well, the fact is like what the Japanese were doing, what they did in Nanking, what was that? 300,000 people in like a month? Oh yeah, it something like that. The, the yeah. shit that came That's out of China, China Korea, during that point the time, Philippines. Like, yeah, yeah. I read, I read journal entries of actual Japanese officers. Hi everyone, G Van here. Unfortunately, I gotta take this part out. I don't think it's YouTube appropriate, and I really wanted to get this episode up as soon as possible, considering it was already late. So I apologize. Don't forget to tell your buddies they have a nice cock, and I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Do you know, and this is a question for you, do you know why uh, a lot of the Japanese didn't get tried during this? Uh, because said, they were dead. No, no. <laughs> even then, the top commanders weren't. Do you know why they didn't have war crimes or anything pressed against them? Go ahead. Because of Nanking. So as long as we traded, the American populace, American government traded, or uh, American government just wanted their research during that time period because it was... paperclip, baby. You're talking more Whoa. about like operation. You're talking more about like unit 731 type shit. Yeah. And yeah. they were like, if you give us that, we will not try so like, uh, you people. So there was a, uh, that's not the Japanese military as a whole. Like there was no, a, no, no, no. there was a Japanese military unit called uh, unit 731 and they conducted the horrific, horrific, the probably the worst human Period. rights violations Period. ever on people uh like doing surgeries without anesthesia you know this, just right? to see what happens amputating yeah. limbs to see what happens like most people if if you're at home like what percent of the human body is water you're gonna say something like 70 75 percent like you know why you know that yep because 730 unit 731 took people weighed them and then stuck them in convection ovens until they were human beef jerky and then reweighed them yeah. and they're like oh 
you're 70% water because all the water evaporated out of you and you're human beef jerky now. <laughs> Every time I say that Imperial Superior, people are like, oh, yeah, well, fucking Operation Paperclip, you guys had Germans working at NASA. Yeah, we had... So did the we, Soviets. We had, first of all, so did the uh, Soviets. So point. that fucking cancels out because math. Secondly, we had 140 Germans working for NASA. And at the peak of the Apollo missions, NASA had 400 thousand fucking employees that's like zero point zero zero one eight percent fuck the, off the only one that's notable out of all of them is braun yeah yeah werner von braun yeah yeah get fucked so this is uh, like for me this is the stuff that i love learning about because it is nanking it is how people functioned as society and what a majority of people don't understand. It's like everyone takes away from World War II. Nazis are bad. We drop nukes. Yep. But this is why I'm going back to college. Also, hey. you, do you know why I love Kurt Vonnegut? You know why I got you know why I got Vonnegut here on my leg? Oh, nice. It's an asshole. I got a couple of Vonnegut's. Yeah. <laughs> I you know read why? Vonnegut on the way down. Because Vonnegut was a guy who literally was an a, indie man. He was an American patriot. Who, but he witnessed the Dresden bombings, what he did in his literature, but he was able to fucking humanize. At, at, the, at that point, in the, when those novels were coming out in the 50s and 60s, he was able to humanize and dissect the complexities of that com- conflict, right? And that's what I think a lot of uh, modern day people should really do. Like, there, there is no such thing of pure Simplicity. evil versus pure good it doesn't exist we live in american war crimes in world war ii by the way (laughs) the wars in iraq and afghanistan american soldiers have been fucking saints saints in the way they deal with fucking civilian populations american gi your fucking sweet grandpa that you love so much that your sweet grandpa if he wasn't involved with it he witnessed one of his fucking dudes Fucking explain to me how America lost the Korean War because, like, it's a common saying in the I American education. I don't think education. that the America lost the Korean War. I know that you don't think War. that. It was it's a good thing in the long run. You're not a fucking moron. Thank you. But the general consensus is America hasn't won a war since World War II. America fought in Korea. What was our goal going into Korea? First of all, it wasn't America action by itself. It was United Nations action, yeah. including yeah. 17 other countries besides America. What was the We're goal? We're the police of the it world. Was Preventing North Korea from taking over South Korea. Which yeah. we did. Guess what we have today? <laughs> South, South Korea. Korea. <laughs> that sounds they like a fucking Samsung. success to me. <laughs> they got Samsung. So next to the my Japanese, dishwasher the plays a 35 second long song point, every time the dishes are clean okay? because we fought in the Korean War. So if war. America and entered side. the Korean War under the fucking pretense of we're trying to save South Korea and South Korea exists today, how the fuck is that a loss? Explain that to me. That makes zero fucking sense. No, no, I agree. And then people say, oh, well, America lost Vietnam. Interesting. Give me, let me ask you this, seriously, like legitimately, as somebody whose opinion that I value because I legitimately think that you're an intelligent person, what what is the criteria that you can point to to say whether a war is won or lost is go ahead no you oh i was just going to ask like is it is it the amount of people like is it whoever kills the most of the other side is it whoever like what is the criteria where you can point to it and be like this is the line where you determine winner and loser as far as war goes no it's the it's the long term it's the long term uh benefits of both the victor and the loser so for example no no go ahead for example iraq not a good example japan no, very good example. no no not right now but it, the, it, it that'll be but that'll be a factor it's it's like japan and germany are recovering extremely recovered healthy great countries uh and allies of our allies so, of ours Okay, okay, so I'll, I'll, Did I miss I'll, the question? A little bit. I, I like your answer, but it's it's deeper than I wanted oh, it to I be. Love this. If you're this looking, is, if you're looking at oh. war like it's a boxing <laughs> no, match, so yeah. right and at the end of the day, you have to call a winner and a loser when the war okay. ends. What is the criteria? You're referring that, to Vietnam, sh- sure, or any war. Like what is the like? How did we decide who won World War II in Germany? They quit. They surrendered. Yeah. How did we decide who won World War II as far as the Pacific Theater? 
of they color. Surrendered. They surrendered. Yeah. Okay, so they were forced to sign a peace treaty right. that was not beneficial there's to them a level, overall. But there's a level of... The, the Japanese had a, a level of... Um, I don't want to use the word civility, but they were on the same page as the rest of the world when it comes to that's how we operate. Well, right. they were as so they were they were forced to sign a document yeah. stating, oh, "Okay, we were wrong. This is yeah. how we're going to operate." And by now. the way, they've yeah. held up to it. So, and, and they have, and that's great. And yeah. Japanese is a h- tremendous fucking ally. Shout out to, to our day. fucking and they've like formed ooh-woos. the whole world that we're in today, and I love it. But here's my question: Anime for life, in Shohei <laughs> Otani, the best ball player <laughs> in the world. Fucking so we've already, yeah. we've already yeah. addressed the stuff, co- dude. I've already addressed the <laughs> Korean War. <laughs> And how South Korea exists. So I'm going to go ahead and call America and the UN in general the victor in the Korean War. The correct okay. choice. Okay. Yep. Here's my issue with Vietnam. I agree with that. In, okay. Thank you. High five. Thank okay. You. Here's my issue with Vietnam. In 1972, America launched Operation Linebacker 2. The 13 days before Christmas in 1972, America sent B-52s all day, every day to bomb the North Vietnamese. Mm-hmm. They had a 36-hour ceasefire over Christmas. After that, they sent a transmission to the North Vietnamese and said, are you fuckers ready to quit yet? Mm -hmm. They said no. The next day, America sent 60 B-52s all at the same time to the North Viet... That's called a Hail Mary right there, yeah. And bombed the shit out of them. The Hail Mary. By the time that 60th B-52 had dropped its payload and returned back to base, they'd received a transmission from the North Vietnamese that they were willing to enter peace talks. They then went to Paris and agreed and signed yeah. the Paris Accords, which was a peace treaty that did not benefit them. That peace treaty said that they were going to leave Laos, they were going to leave Cambodia, and that North and South Vietnam would reach a peaceful, amicable solution amongst themselves without American influence. And then America left because that was part of the peace treaty. That was in 1972 slash January of 1973. 1975, North Vietnam invaded the South Vietnamese capital. Which we flew out And beat out of South Vietnamese. That. After America had been gone for almost three fucking years. Americans were there when that happened. They had to fucking evacuate Saigon it, but, and everything but, like but that. But was it how we treated Afghanistan? Ish. Yeah, Americans were still there, though. Yeah. In 1975? They had to evacuate Saigon. Yes, just like we evacuated Afghanistan. So that's what... Now, because, well, Jack, I'm in your position where I have no fucking clue on this shit. Now I'm actually like, wait. But here's my that issue. In like, place. That's the you, one thing you I'm like... You forced the enemy to sign an amicable peace treaty that did not benefit them. And then you're still going to be like, well, America fucking lost. Fuck you guys. That's a win, though. But is it a lot? That's a, actually... A, that's my issue. That's a good question. It's I don't be, see Vietnam as a win. No, but what he's asking, hey, we force the I'm, enemy I'm not to saying, do this. But like, if you're viewing it through the lens of like a boxing match and you have to call a winner at the end of the day, yeah. one side force the other side to form a, force a, sign a peace treaty that did not benefit them. So here, I'll, I'll break it down like and this. And then three years later, no. shit went sideways. Imagine this. Here, boxing match is the best way to do this. You go into a boxing match. Round six happens, and the, the, uh, the opponent... He signs the thing. He's like, you win. It's a fucking KO victory. Boom. Three years later, that dude comes, shows up, and you're like, hey, man, I haven't seen you in a long time. He punches you in the face yeah. and knocks you out. Yeah. Is that victory on him or is it on the original agreement? But th- One's a sanctioned boxing match, Eli, and the other is a sucker punch. What, you Those you, you mean war? Things. You mean war? Because we have a Geneva But that's convention. my overall... That's my point with the overall... <laughs> the Vietnamese gave a fuck. The but NBA gave a fuck but about the Did you see what... Did you see what they did to the French? That's my overall issue, though, with history after the European theater of World War II because every fucking historian that gets to decide what history is in fucking American textbooks and in textbooks in the world gets to view it Guess who was the college students becoming historians I, during he, Vietnam? He, he, All honestly, the people that didn't go and fight I'm, the war. No, but I'm going to tell you something this. I don't give a fuck who won or lost Vietnam. That's inconsequential to me. Yep. It To me, more of the problem is like, why did we enter? And that's the problem there. The Gulf of Tonkin stuff and all that. I so here's my po- here's my point with that. Oh my god, I hate that I don't, I don't know why we started I don't the Korean care war. Yeah. about the context. 
I do. I do. I do. Don't get me wrong. I do to an extent. I, I don't give but, a fuck about the yeah, winner. It's like, should it have happened in the first I, place? I, that's not I, true, though. No, I want to get to the you, root. If me and the you, American okay, government. If you're, if you're a principal at a school. Okay. And two kids. That'd get, be terrible. And two kids get in a fist fight. Yeah. No. And one kid beats the fucking shit out of the other what kid. What color America. are they? Doesn't matter. <laughs> One kid <laughs> beats the fucking shit out of the other kid, right? Vietnam. He wasn't the gay, right? Time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but Why then, you do shred? I, <laughs> if one kid gets his ass beat, Vietnam. and then the other kid is like, I got my ass beat, and then you're like, well, the fight should have never took place, so nobody's the winner. No, that doesn't no, make no, sense. no, 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 Nick, you're looking at uh, like, oh, fucking, sorry. Go fucking fat no, 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 Eli. Jack, as someone who ran child fighting rings for years. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Eli, go ahead. I just had to flex my resume. <laughs> For fucking years, I never saw you one time at the child fighting ring. God okay, damn. Okay, go ahead. That's how it's still in business. <laughs> I can't. I'm like, this is like a fight with your spouse. And you're like, no, no, it doesn't matter how the fight started. How did it end? You fucking lost, bitch. I was right. Those kids should have been no, at school. No, I want to hear what he said. God damn it. Go ahead, please. Your beer? What's the deal with Go ahead. Beers? You have it. Is there more beer? Can I have more we beer? We have so many more beers. Go ahead, please. Fight about Vietnam. Go. No, this is... Oh, it's so good. Because now you guys are on a point where you're like, who is here's, the winner? How's and, it start? I, I, so, like, I want to I wanna highlight, like, why I why I have this opinion. It, it's not because I'm just, like, so much fucking, fucking gun-ho. Well, America's right all the time. I don't think you're that kind I'm, of person. I'm yeah. happy to admit that America should not have been there. My issue is okay, that yeah. during good. the Vietnam War, Thank during you. the C Korean War... You have an entire generation of young men that went off to fight a war and they don't necessarily know why they were fighting it or why they ended up there or and they they also probably don't know what the actual results were because they didn't have the Internet with Wikipedia and right. they could just fucking Google what actually fucking happened. Yeah. They just got sent somewhere and they were like, fucking this is a bad guy. Don't die. Yeah. Fucking good luck. Right. And they got sent there. They did the best they fucking could. And then. In Korea and Vietnam, they got to come home, and all the fucking historians that didn't go fight, they stayed and they went to college. And those guys came home, and they're like, "Hey, you fucking lost." And I completely disagree. As on on the surface level, you don't think there's a substantial amount of Vietnam veterans that have come to that same uh, admission? I absolutely think that there is a huge amount of Vietnam veterans that have come to grips. And accepted the fact we that they lost, it was a lost cause. the Vietnam War. Yeah. Here's my issue. I wouldn't even say they lost. It was a lost cause. I ask it's like for, the, for the a period of time, war. I asked every Vietnam veteran that I got to talk to if they thought they won or lost. And almost all of them said they thought they lost. And one of them said, when it comes to war, nobody wins. That was the the and, and the only people that care to argue about it are the people that never fought. That's well, smart and guy. for the longest time, a smart guy. He did it made war. me quit trying to argue about it forever. And the part that changed my mind was the fact that the people that wanted to shit on that guy's legacy and what that guy did didn't stop arguing for it. And they kept arguing that he fucking lost and he didn't. By any objective measurement of winning... They didn't lose. They they killed more enemies than they, they managed to kill. Mm -hmm. They forced the enemy to sign a peace treaty that was not beneficial to them. Mm -hmm. There's no metric that you can point to on a person-to-person -person basis where you can be like, yeah, no, you fucking lost. That does it doesn't exist. Afghanistan. No, I no. You're talking I, no. about a different war, and I still disagree. Hey, hold on, uh, Jack. Give me one second. I hate. I can do. I fucking Go despise. Ahead. I can do this. I can. I despise. I can do this. So. Uh, it's fucking shout out to two ID, my sweet boys. Um, are you we about found to name drop? At, at, we found uh -huh. one of the first ISIS kill houses, right? So, ISIS kill house in Iraq this is 2008. 
We found one of the first ones. We didn't know what the fuck. I forgot about this story. But yeah, I yeah. No, you're like, Go ahead. Fuck. No, As a man with no military experience, this is a real fucking awkward no, conversation. You to be okay, just, just, just Guys, fucking, if you don't know who King in the Trout is, in com- in confidence. Okay, three Purple Hearts, one Medal of Honor, and two Silver Stars. We're uh, starting his war lore. crimes. His, we're starting his lore right now and he wears his national defense ribbon around, around his neck his like neck. his medal of honor and he puts his medal of honor in his yeah. back pocket i this almost served the king i was this trout. close <laughs> i was this close asthma. i'm airport security yeah. now but asthma. i almost asthma. Served. <laughs> i would have ba- but, my, I'm but i had basically a medal of honor <laughs> dude i fucking hate people you didn't serve fuck you I'm like go fuck yourself so um, ISIS, we found one of the first ISIS kill houses in 2007 to 2008. We didn't know what the fuck this was. This was, we didn't know. It was a fucking murder house. We're like, oh, fuck. Don't know what these words are. We had no clue in ISIS during uh, Moktadia, the pers- push into Moktadia. We were always <laughs> fucking <laughs> tip of the spear. So we had the bad areas every fucking time. When I hear other per- people's war stories, I'm like... <laughs> Wait, you guys only have one purple heart in your entire battalion? That's fucking weird. They're like, well, how many do you have? We're like 48. They're like, what? I'm like, yeah, we got shot at a lot. Jesus. How did you guys only get shot at one time? <laughs> so, fast forward. We found it. We didn't fucking know. Then you go to 2014, 2013, when ISIS started kicking off in Moktadia. We cleared that area out. I remember we killed the two snipers in that. Biko did. And it was like, hey, we have brought peace. I remember because a general, two-star general, during, two fucking star general during this time. Was this Boozer? I want to say it was my boy Boozer. General Boozer. He was the only general I walked up. He was like, Quavis, what are you doing? I was like, sir, where's your fucking hair head cap? He was like, why the fuck is a specialist correcting me? I was Eli in this military time, so I just correct him on the spot. Get in the hell hole, uh, the hatch, the hell hatch. What are the... Um, Whatever the hell hatch is in the back of Strikers, we got up. I was like, sir, what's up? And he's old as shit. He's like, uh, Quavis, what are you doing? I was like, what's up? How was it fighting next to Abe Lincoln? He was like, he was like, you don't watch yourself. We're driving. And I remember his verbiage driving through this area. He was like, man, you got, you boys need to be fucking proud of yourselves. You have cleaned this area up so goddamn good. Fucking those two snipers, you killed them. No one else here. All the Terrys in this area, fucking dead. Good job. Boom! Fucking IED explosive bomber. Me and uh, Ryder, I think it was Ryder at that time. We were in the back hell hatches. Fucking ha! Ba, ha look around. He's like, I'm fucking. I, I make the calls. I was like, uh, fucking IED, IED, very monotone. Is a bomber. Like, you okay? He's like, yeah, he just. Okay, we're good. He just blew himself up. No, no, no. He Ryan Reynolds. He blew himself. himself. You can say blow himself up. Yeah, he Ryan Reynolds himself Mm. into oblivion. I was like, and he was like, changed his pronouns from permanently over there. there. (laughs) (laughs) So, fuck it. It's like, dude, S vests himself right in front of me and Ryder. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, ID, ID, ID. Like, oh, were you fucking good? Yeah, we're good. He did nothing. He did nothing. <laughs> and then we're like sitting there. I'm like, hey, it smells like barbecue, weirdly enough. And then General Boozer, he's like, y'all okay? I'm like, yeah, sir. We're, we're fucking fine. Man, you don't see that fucking any day of the week. God damn it. What the fuck is going on? A dude just s mess himself? Holy shit, we get out. There's fucking two feet and a, that's it. And an explosion. We do all that. We, and he's like, holy shit, soldiers, you're doing fucking great. We clear out all the Mokdia. It's fucking peaceful. Fast forward four years, uh, six years, watching the news. ISIS has took over all of Mokdia. <laughs> I was like, cool. Everyone died for nothing at this time in their life. <laughs> Literally, every sacrifice we made in that sector for not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was like, man, we fought for that really 
really difficult. We lost a lot of dudes pushing into that and the bread basket. That was a whole. We actually one of my buddies got canceled because of the bread basket. I don't know if I ever told that story. Do you know that? Mm-mm. Time Magazine with what? Holy shit! Time Magazine <sighs> decided to come out and join Two ID for the push into bed mm. breath, bed mm. bread basket. We. <clears throat> They're like, hey, we get a call from the ter- uh, the bad guys on the other side. They're like, hey, this is happening on the bread basket. Go to the bridge. We show up. One of these specialists, I forget his name. There's a fucking head on the, the bridge that separates us. This is just a head of a major of the IA. So he like grabs it. He's like, hey, we got this. What do we do with it? And he's smiling, just like, what the fuck? I've had Time Magazine. <laughs> That's bad PR. He gets fucking demoted. He gets shit on for this entire thing. Because Time Magazine, this is his face. <laughs> holding a human head. <laughs> 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 He's just holding a human head. And they printed this. The, uh, by, by the way, that's when I feel sorry for officers. <laughs> right. Like what That's like doing? literally like... It's not his fault. Uh, no, he was grabbing it off the fucking Hesco barrier. Yeah. <laughs> he was walking wait, wait, towards if us. If that would have been a private, they would have been like, yeah, he's a private. They, Specialist, yeah. though, he grabbed up the Hesco and he's like yeah. walking towards us, like, oh, what is this? <laughs> and Time's like, <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know for a week. And then the article comes out. Sergeant Major's like, what the fuck is this? He's like, where's your baby? Where's your baby? He gets demoted instantly to E1. <laughs> like, all this shit happens. It's a fucking shit show. And then fast forward six years, and ISIS is controlling all of Moktadia in Iraq. We're like, oh, my, my buddies. Fuck. Dope. I mean. How do you feel about that, Nick? <laughs> I think it's really hard <laughs> for you guys that had to go through that. And my my issue with it is like if you guys have an opinion, I'm not gonna argue with you about how you feel about it. Whatever Dude. you whatever you feel about it to justify it is fine. I'm never gonna argue about it. I tell World War II veterans all the time they need to man the fuck up. Yeah. It's cool. Suck it up. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Talking Jack. You pussies. Germans my <laughs> allies with them. They're our <laughs> allies. What are you fucking crying about, Grandpa? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> These suck it up. That's what I say to World War II veterans. I'm sure it says World War II, why you grunt about or crying about. It's just a simple texture. Talking about fucking Japan. They make anime. They make fucking. Who gives a shit? All right? They gave us Shohei Otani, bro. Shohei Otani. Oh my God. For the record, Jesus Christ. We were saying on how veterans feel about losing or winning a war. I'm not going to argue with you about it, but anybody else that has no military experience, I'm going to argue with all day and night because all they want to do is shit on you because they just have the opinion that America bad and you're bad for doing whatever. I love my country. I, I can Same. really understand. I'm not arguing with you. Don't. But that's I don't. Can I get an America high five? I don't think that you hold this we, opinion. Yeah, I want an America high five. What but, the fuck? America high five. <laughs> America like, down low, baby. Yeah, do you deal. really think I'm nothing high? good came out of it? Oh, oh there you go. Well, I think uh, many good things came from. We have terrorism. <laughs> Um, but like during so you, those you beheading said, videos, you there was, have you watched their cinematography? There was a on six, ISIS? <laughs> there was a six year gap. What happened during that we six year about gap? Their camera work, Eli. Well, we. Uh, oh, I hate, I'm not even going to mention their names. Uh, with the, the Here, here's, here's my question: Is there an entire generation of children <laughs> yeah. that are going to know for the rest of their lives and be able to tell their kids and their grandkids? that this doesn't have to be the way of life that we live through because I've seen better, I've experienced better, and it was because of what you did. It's hard because I see, like, now, oh, man, this adds a it fucking props to you. That's a really good question. Because that's my I point. That's my on- argument with everybody because there's an entire generation of women in that entire part of the world they got to learn how to read and got to learn how to do math and got to learn how to do and got to learn and go to school and do all this stuff because you were there walking around with a gun saying, 
this is how we fucking live. Do you want to fight about it? And they said, no, we're going to cower in the corner and we're going to place bombs on the roads. That we're you talking about Iraq. On. You were in it. Yeah. Were talk- yeah. Iraqi girls have always been able to read <laughs> for the most Afghan. part. We're ta- you're thinking of Afghan girls. You're thinking of Afghan. Sorry. Yeah. No, but it's, it's crazy because you do get it. I trust me. I get to see that side where you see the. It's fucking hard because right now, Jack, you will weigh on this. Fucking, fucking can't weigh in on this. You have what we as a society, society is key words there of what we dictate as right or wrong. It's all it's based off of is society at that po- moment in time. You have periods of time where different things were legal and okay. <laughs> Well, you had the it, atrocities of torture that were like, yo, this is normal. Let's build let's build this fucking not, uh, not even bullhorn. that. Just talk about what the rules of engagement were when you were there. Oh, dude. And which is, Jack, you have to admit, it's fucked with the rules of engagement. Yes, people might break the rules, people might bend them, but I stuck to, and this is Eli, fucking dumb private to specialist Eli during this time period. I was like, oh, they got AKs and they're aiming at us. We can't shoot them because that's the rules. Because they, they, can't get to, they get to shoot first. And then after they do shoot, you're only allowed to shoot back with your M4 or your M16 because that's a similar caliber with a similar force. And you can't shoot back with a Mark 19 or a, or a 50 caliber machine gun because that wouldn't be fair. That was that was iffy. So like on our roads. I, I understand that, but like <laughs> that's, mail him a letter that's first, my dude. whole fucking argument is like you do at, get at any point in time you guys could have marched through and exterminated every military <laughs> aged male. Christ. We do at that, any point in time that you fucking wanted to. Okay, to lean into what you're saying. And it then was claim weird. that you're not the good guy is insane to me. Oh that's, I will never wait, wait, argue, exterminating. I, just males randomly that are unarmed that would you wouldn't be the good guy. No, he's no, saying, but he's saying how for, many how many military age males in that area of the world are unarmed or let me rephrase are are, are armed that did not deserve it. Like they could have just issued the order. Anybody carrying an AK forty seven between the ages of eighteen so and fifty five. I'll tell you what, a lot of, a lot of them didn't want a part of that shit, man. Jack, how do you reframe this into a question that's more relatable to him and your viewer? What do you mean? So when you say when he is stating a question like that, you state it as how I always do it. It's like, okay, so if someone is invading your country and you have a firearm to defend your country for what you for tyranny and how you're <coughs> gonna have it in your head, how do you defend that? See how that changes the <laughs> cause and effect of the conversation? <laughs> do you know what I do? <laughs> I was wholly unprepared for this conversation. I got off a plane an hour ago. I've had nine beers. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I walked into this shit. He's ranting about whatever. He's okay, ranting about we're like whatever. An hour into the Patreon episode. Yeah, fine. we're like we're good. No, it's weird because when you, uh, as I always say, there's it's a multifaceted problem. And when you look at it like that, it's like, would I be defending my homeland for things? I don't know because I've been raised off this and my education isn't the same as theirs. How would I be engaging these people? Because I had the exact same mindset fighting these individuals. It's like, okay, this is how I created terrorists. I have nothing against Iraqi people at all. No. I actually, you want to hear it. I don't want to divert this conversation. No, go ahead. Please do. I lo- <laughs> King Trout's like no 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 I no. shouldn't drink I more. fucking I <laughs> not I a have, fucking veteran I have no say. I have no you no are you are a do. veteran you you're are an American an honorary you're an American, you're an American. Yeah. have you ever voted I, I never I have, have regularly <laughs> you never voted I've never voted for <laughs> real <laughs> what the fuck dude? I'm almost <laughs> I've never voted in my life. I'm gonna fight. Brandon? I'm gonna no. fight for your rights. And Jack, no. Same. Yeah. Thank you. Same. Oh wow. Okay. Yo, so I haven't voted, voted either, bro. I served and I was like, the, okay, so none of this matters. You literally I got have it. a purple heart and didn't fucking vote because I yeah, served and it was like, oh, no one Some gives a shit about. Some people have big dicks and never fuck, dude. <laughs> I always looked at it, I was like, no one gives a shit about oh, me. So you were just going to... Got it. You just got injured for whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't pay property you, tax in Texas. You think, it's dope. Who do you think actually <laughs> fucking you loves his purple property heart? Property taxes down here? If you have a disability and a purple heart, you yeah. don't pay property tax. 
Are we at war with anyone right now? No. no. Can no. I say how you much I love the Arab heart people? <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah, I was implying. Like, I want that back. <laughs> Pay those taxes. I'm like, okay, what the fuck's wrong with you, bro? But, <laughs> so I'll like, take it. I'll take it right here's now. my issue. Yeah. Like, I I completely understand where you're coming from. You're coming from oh, like a wealth this. of knowledge, and like that's a completely separate conversation. My issue is that you have people that have done nothing but read memes their entire life, Me. and they just get to summarize guys like Eli again. And me, be like, I get nah, that. Hey, by the way, that's my issue. Our generation is. Yeah. I'm I'm literally I'm almost forty. I'm fucking old. Yeah. We used to make fun of the Vietnam vets. It's a generational thing. Like we used to not understand Vietnam vets. We used to rip on them. That's my used fucking to do point. Though six months older than do you me. think? Do you think it's fucking fair that the historians Jack that wrote the you? history on Vietnam veterans didn't give you the full picture as a kid? Oh, that's true. It was. Oh, and that's do you think oh. that's fair to the Vietnam vets that they taught the entire younger generation? Poorly. No, you know, that's I think, my issue. Actually, I think Vietnam vets actually took care of us in the sense that a lot of Vietnam vets going into the invasion of Iraq, I don't want to get back on the subject, but they're actually very vocal about how this is a bad idea. This could be a bad thing. And a lot of people and a lot of war hawks who never went to Vietnam, they're like, oh, dad, no, we got we to gotta go. If you don't support the troops and love America, then you, you hate the troops. And they they pulled that whole gaslighting thing. Why do you why do you think they were able to gaslight you? Me? Anybody? I was in, gen in general in the American public. I enlisted on August 11th, 2001. They, you just said that they were gaslit. Why do you think that? The American public? Yes. They were war hungry. We were why war why hungry do you people. think that they weren't willing to listen to the Vietnam veterans? Because they'd been discarded before. Why do you think they were discarded? I, but who? because the entire fucking generation of historians that didn't fight Vietnam and went off to college and said decided that they were going to shit on Vietnam veterans, they, call they, them losers. They weren't, no, no, no. They that wasn't a thing. Th those guys weren't calling them fucking losers. They were calling them fucking war bad. Anyways, can I get back to why I love the <laughs> Arabian the yes. Arab people? Oh, I almost all of in. my experience. No, wait, wait, hold on, Jack. Go. Oh, I was just gonna say, the, like talking about the the, the hippie movement. What the, the hippie movement and their treatment of not necessarily Vietnam the hippie veterans. movement. No, My, hippies weren't necessarily anti-veteran. Yeah, that's yeah. not that's such a fucking misconception. Hippies weren't automatically anti-veteran. A lot of fucking veterans became hippies, and a lot of fucking hippies literally felt bad for the guys fighting the war. Yeah, a lot of guys were just that. that, 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 that Jack London Fish though. You got this. It's, it's a, it's a nice give and take. Now we're we're passing the torch. That fucking thing about Jack, Viet you passed the torch. That, no, I was just gonna say no. That. that thing about Vietnam <laughs> veterans getting spit on. It is such a fucking. It's almost a fucking lie. That's that a whole that was thing. my extremist interjection. Okay, go on with it. So a lot of guys who fought in Vietnam were just fucking dudes. Yeah. It wasn't like they... Yeah. Like Tyrone Washington from Detroit? Well, that's and a bit Dick racist. Johnson? I don't care mm. for that voice, but <laughs> they were just I guys. like voices are right. This is how I know... How old are you? Uh, old enough. Younger. Yeah. yeah. 29, 32, somewhere between there. Okay. Yeah. I was I'm like, 30. wait, what? Oh. No, I'm 30. Okay, okay, sweet. Okay, because it is that... It, it's weird watching... Before, uh, you go back on your topic... <laughs> It's watching the different age brackets, uh, how they interact with individuals, and they're like, yeah. hold on to I this, just, to this. I'm a I'm ripe here, 52. Here's all I want. Beers deep. <laughs> Jack, I, I, le I legitimately value your opinion, because your opinion, I think you're a Extremely very intelligent, intelligent person. Which means you're about to get aggressive. No, 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 not Jack, at all. I said it at the I same time. I just want you to acknowledge the fact that probably... Maybe greater than 50%, even 51%, that the majority of historians post Germany surrendering in World War II have viewed the lens of history through a negative America should have never been there in the first place. America is overall I, bad no, lens. So, you Nick, know, I, I grew up with Jack. So, I, this is me being serious. I grew up in Jack, where I'm one year older than you. 
Did you do the four yet? Did I do one year? I'm one year old. I'm approaching the four. Yes, both of us are. <laughs> okay. Have you approached it? Are you 40 yet? Uh, I'm very close. Okay, so we're yeah. one year age difference. Yeah. So there's a one year. Jack is older than me by one year. So I'm going to say. Bad electrician. I've. I I see Jack's side on this because when we grew up and how we have the History Channel, anything like this, it has been very pro-America, very against the Nazi during our, how we, that that's what's extremely, you know that, ex, this is what's extremely and we interesting all have to HPV. me. But no, but <laughs> History Channel, anything like that, I we have been be one predisposed less. to like fucking Nazi suck America's fucking awesome, right? That was your history in high school. Yeah. Right, but yeah. even yeah. what you just said proves my point because I said everything after the European theater of World War II. I, I, oh yeah, Japan, we were like, uh, it was an afterthought is how we've been. Uh, I did research, so I don't count on like Nanking or things like this. Like, hey, here is... I can tell you the nukes. I can tell you the megatons and the re-megatons on how they fucking blew that shit up. But it was an afterthought to Nazi. For the longest time, I'm going to be honest, I thought we killed Japan before we even disposed of the Nazis. For a long time. Because I dropped out of high school. Kids stay in school. If you want to film. Yeah, that's, hashtag that's, get that's, again. That's a very, like, history. I, I talked to Jack, you please respond. I'm... Waiting. No, wait, 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 wait. No, a lot of people who don't know shit about history, uh, the Nazis were obviously the bad guys in World War II. The Japanese were also very obviously Equal the bad, the bad guys. guys. Yeah. Uh, don't forget why, about the Italians. Pardon? Those fucking No, but why yeah. don't we bad. talk about your Japanese? Yeah, we don't talk about the Japanese because only the Americans were fighting them. No, that's not true at all. No. No, the Australians were fighting them, the British Chinese. were fighting them, the Chinese, the Indians. Oh, yeah, a lot of people were fighting them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Japan. The, the New Zealanders. But, but that's my point. There's an entire generation of historians literally called the revisionists that came in after the surrender in the European theater that view everything through a lens of America bad. Yeah, That's it, my point. Japan was the... They were Who, the like, guys. even the most liberal fucking... Historians of the time, like Gore Vidal, were not anti-American. They were, like, objective. They didn't necessarily see the guys they... Gore Vidal, who literally fought those guys, didn't see them as evil. But he, like, he was an anti-American. This is what I love right now. This is my favorite time because you get to... See how different individuals I, research. I still Jack, want to answer yes, the question yes. why I no, love Arab go, people. Go, yeah. go. <laughs> Arab people, go. No, it is crazy. Like, I love this because it is these different aspects. We all live in America, and Oliver's like, no, fuck that. Fucking Germany? No, Japanese theater. Well, no, this is what the problem is. But that's my fucking problem. point. It's Why the fuck is it that 99% of Americans, when asked about any war post-World War II, can't give you any answer other than America lost? I walked off. We didn't lose Desert Storm. The, well, right, but that's not <laughs> even viewed as a war. Desert Storm is one of the greatest it military accomplishments ever. What, I mean, it is a we surgical military we operation. We them, dude. It was, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> I hate that we smoked them. That's a Call of Duty Desert game. Desert Storm. No, that's a Call of Duty game. We got our fucking 20 kills instantly. We were like, nuke. And then the, the mass engineer were like, fucking get f George Bush was like, hey, fuck you. What's Desert up, Storm. You walked off stage. Desert Storm was such a fucking masterpiece of a military yeah, operation was, yeah. that the you that the military industrial complex of America stepped in after the fact and said, <laughs> we can never let that happen ever again because we didn't make any fucking money. Yeah, we These gotta, guys went we in start and flying to an island the in the largest, time. Okay, yeah. sorry. They had the largest in the hemisphere, the third largest military in the world at Which this point. Which is time. crazy because they within did three have weeks, the third. They had the second largest military in their own fucking country. Decimated, yeah. At, he's not like they surgical. had the third largest military, the entire military and, in the world. But they nev you never learn about that, and that doesn't count as a war 
because America won too quick. The, and the Korean War counts as a war, even though there was never an, an official declaration right. of war. But America lost that for some reason. Zach, and America uh, lost all these other ones for some reason. But every time America wins, Operation Just Cause, America <laughs> lost. Jack, the Desert chief. Storm, America lost, even though we won super quick. Operation, you, Operation Praying Mantis, America <laughs> lost. Just heard it. Within I fucking eight. I feel like I'm like, on the receiving <laughs> end of no, a lot of a... I Jack, I love you. I I'm not saying because I feel like I'm doubling down if I say anything. That's my whole point: is everything is viewed through the lens. Of I just want to talk about how much I love Arab people. I want to <laughs> hear it. Please go, go, sheiks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, okay, I've been to one of my favorite places on the planet is Amman, Jordan. Such I've never been. Do they have good almonds. They would. <laughs> okay. They would. <laughs> You know what? Ladies and gentlemen, kimono guy. <laughs> Dude, I want to say so much I'm shit. I'm done trying to it. Warm. Stop holding back and fucking say it. We've been filming this for like fucking three hours. Shut the fuck up. Go. Die. You have to look at editor. G-Fan, you are amazing, and you're going to edit this amazingly. Go. The orcs have just arrived at Helm Steep, and Jack Mandeville is about to give his opinion. Me. Jesus fucking yes, Christ. Yes, we can. Jack, I want to hear it. Over. Dude, I would have showed up fucking hammered. <laughs> you'd have told me if you'd have shown me dude you're like i called you a fucking uber show up dude get in the fucking uber with fucking eileen you made that shitty ass joke about fucking eileen with the one leg earlier fucking eileen driving my fucking uber all right i would have showed the fuck up i would have been fucking blitz dude i drove i didn't drive i flew on this fucking plane dude all right, I sat next to the fucking toilet. All right, people, <laughs> shit, <laughs> smells like fucking spinach. All right, I got six hours. I'm watching the fucking gentleman. I don't know if you've seen it, fucking Hugh Jackman. <laughs> He's not in it. It's fucking Hugh Grant. The guy who fucking, he, no, he didn't flip the fucking car. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, I watched that fucking movie. Two and a half fucking hours sitting next to some fucking bitch with jiggling ass titties with the fucking window closed. I don't know where the fuck I am, dude. I can't determine what can't the plane is at. I don't know I like, if I'm at 15 degrees or like, zero degrees. I, like, I don't know what the fuck I, is going on. I love, I love the fact that you determining where you are is whether or not the woman with jiggling titties has the window open. And then you bring me to this fucking sweaty ass house. With a fucking refrigerator that doesn't fucking work. <laughs> I fucking had like nine beers. And now you're telling me, let's get into the fucking podcast. All right? I don't know what I'm the fuck's going beer. on. I gotta fucking take a piss. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette. We'll be right back. Here's your advertisement. What Say hi to Eli. <laughs> Jack, right now I am on the peak of podcasts. I'm like, this is... This might be the greatest episode we've ever yeah. had for what is going on. I'm so fucking happy. I am so goddamn I happy right now. I just want to say nice things about Arabs. <laughs> Please go. I just want to get to that <laughs> thought. Please go. Jack, you, holy shit, this is probably one of my favorite podcasts I've done in fucking years. <laughs> Please go. I'm glad to hear that. It's so good. Everyone's. Yeah, so oh what I've been trying this to say for the, uh, the last hour and a half is uh, um, my experience of my experiences in a I can't do it at this point. I'm done. <laughs> he, didn't didn't say any, he didn't say any slurs. Right, Jack. Yeah. Yo, can we go smoke? I thought you already had one. No, no you both. Go. No, I went pee. Anyways, Jack, no, can I tell you a story nipples. before you go smoke? Yeah. Though? So like I'm I'm trying to go back to like school to get a history degree because yeah. like all this shit we've been arguing about all night. But can I talk about the fact that like been arguing? History I mean degree. not really. I've mm. mostly been arguing with myself with the mild opinion of you from left field. But um I I've just been like just wrecking like 19 year old college students on history the entire time it's really fun oh, it's, it's been my new passion in life recently yeah that's like fucking shohei otani going up against a fucking oh, double bro, a guy i feel like me walking into a middle school picking fights with sixth graders yeah. it's incredible and on that we're going to end this beautiful episode Jeez, of Unsubscribe. I still Christ. never got to say anything <laughs> nice about Arab people. That's how it ends, Jack. Okay. <laughs> That's oh like the American it's a metaphor. economy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a metaphor. <laughs> no one warned me. 
But tomorrow, you now know what you do. Poor Prepare King Trout. Yourself. I came all the way here to get fucking canceled. <laughs> Bro, we love you. Thank you. Jack, where can we find you? Hi, my name's Jack. I just, I'm on the internet. Jack Mandeville. J-A-C-K-M-A-N-A-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-